<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> wow. Yep. You know, when you're going to make a lube comment, I always make sure the producers listen because that's yeah. Important. Sorry about that, ma'am. Uh, we'll have our HR Simmons. Right. Slash HR slash, uh, slash, slash don't slash forget to slash <laughs> very important. Folks, Sunday afternoon. Welcome to the Margu campaign, the tri generational campaign. We're glad to have you here. We're going to go ahead and spend the next uh, about two hours trying to entertain you and uh, frustrating uh, these four individuals. Uh, we are not doing the campaign today, we're going to go ahead and do a one shot. Uh, Middle Frank has given me a whole five minutes to get this prepped. So <laughs> uh, these guys are going to be tortles, and uh, they have recently ran into some trouble out on the trail. They are fourth level, and uh, they uh, are headed into Loggerhead to go ahead and recoup some equipment. Uh, but first, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot the shit about D&D. Join our Discord if you want cool stuff like a shirt or a phone case or a I don't know, beach towel, I believe we've got. Uh, check out our shop. Uh, if you want to be on a one-shot, like, well, it was going to be last night, but we ran into trouble, or the talk show on Tuesdays, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on there. Uh, this coming Friday is our Gen Con offering online. Uh, it should be easy, pe way easier than today. Way easier than oh, today. Oh, look who just joined us. Uh, nobody? Crap, Stain. Oh, okay. Well, get, send him over his uh, thing. Uh, if you're looking for custom dice, check out at Pirate Dog Dice uh, on Twitter. And of course, if your game stinks, unlike this successful mission is going to be, uh, oddfishgames.com has something called Adventure Sense. They come in a plethora of aromas, mostly good, some eh, and some are really bad, and you get those for your players to pitch off. Check them out at oddfishgames.com. They also have the Shine system and their Kickstarter for how to RPG with their cat goes live uh, this week. So check it out. Folks, as I told you, this is uh, the Margu campaign slash tri-generational. Let's introduce you to the people while I frantically try and figure out how I am going to screw them over. We will start with Middle Frank. Uh, who are you? Who are you playing today in Tortle World? I'm Metal Frank, and I am playing Tan Bar, the Tortle Fighter Ranger, who literally sucks at both of those abilities and skills, uh, who will probably be dying very early or slowly suffering for the next two hours. Eh, maybe I'll put you out of your misery early. <laughs> uh, AJ, you're up. Give it a shot. All right. I am playing... Uh, a turtle wizard, level four, uh, named Maud, and I'm on sabbatical from the <coughs> capital city of Fatar, and I was traveling up to the highlands when my caravan got stranded by a storm, and now I'm just looking to get back safe, back home. Sabbatical, you say? Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Uh, I still do not see Haggis. Is he, he around? Dropped off. I will okay. try to communicate with him here and see what I can find out. Fair enough. Uh, the individual formerly known as Man Fang is up next, the youngest member of the crew. Who are you tonight? I, <laughs> I am Valkos, the still stupidest member of the group. I am also a turtle, and I also am a barbarian. Nothing much has changed, just my intelligence is no longer negative three. We're in the pluses now, baby. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that that in itself is going to be interesting. Uh, the senior member of the group is up next. Frank, uh, who are you playing today? Certainly not Leaf. Now, this is going to be a stretch for me with my normal play style. Cortran the Paladin. I can't say anything else. It's going to be rough. You could be Rough. corrupted. You could try and do one of those kind of things. Yeah, you could be an anti-paladin. Ooh, ooh, the black me. paladin. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. We don't say that. Hey, <laughs> now. It's just the paladin. Uh, so uh, last but certainly not least, uh, Haggis probably just got his character sheet completely unprepared. Nicholas, tell us about yourself while you look over your PC. He hasn't That's received a... his PC yet because he's not answering his phone, so I can send it to him. PC. Choose a, choose a yeah, number, Haggis. 
No, I already got him. He, I rolled up one. You already got a character, so you just got one <laughs> rolled up, which is kind of fitting for you. I just need emails. Text me your email address so I can send you the link. This is a very Seven, by the way. wrapped together her episode. I will uh, give him a little update. He is Odonahana. Ooh, Odonahana. The Tortle, the Tortle Rogue. So I have a I have a rogue. <laughs> Two paladins, a barbarian, and a what? Or is it three paladins? <laughs> I was a wizard. You got one paladin, wizard. a wizard, a barbarian, a fighter, <laughs> ranger, and a rogue. What a combo. A ranger? Okay. <clears throat> Folks, like I said, uh, we are doing this on the fly. Uh, one of my favorite things. I'm also going to be using random tables for cities and towns. By Dr. Tim Woods. It's a book I picked up over at Barnes and Noble for about fifteen dollars. I highly recommend it. It is filled with a multitude of uh, different uh, tables that you can use for random events. Today, these guys uh, have come back off the trail after, I'll say, an unsuccessful trip. They have lost all their armor and weapons. They only have their claws and shells uh, to deal with their problems. They have followed the river into Loggerhead. Now, Loggerhead is kind of a, a big town, uh, we'll say. This is what it looks like. These guys will be coming in off the river. Uh, you'll be coming in off Heather Crossing <coughs> District. Uh, each one of these structures is some kind of business. Uh, none of you have any information. Well, you know what? Everybody give me an Arcana check. Let's try that. Uh, uh, I'm so busy, Arcana. I forgot to set up my dice. Let's see, Arcana. It ain't Ooh, what it used to be. 19. Uh, five. Woo five. Three. Plus three, six. 14. 19's so my high with uh, he who was formerly known as Haggis Crapstain. Got yep. Rolled up. Uh, oh, yeah. I got to change that. Uh, you know what? Uh, you are aware that. You are the only one that has any information on this town, and that information is not very good because you are aware that the prison system here is, shall I say, medieval at best. Uh, if you land in prison, you will be uh, relegated to a lightless cell uh, where they mistreat their prisoners on a routine basis, and gruel is passed out every two days, whether you like it or not. Sounds so. Lovely. Oda ha na 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 na. Uh, <laughs> so I should I should explain this to everyone else, right? <laughs> That's up to you. You're the rogue. Okay. Uh, as a rogue, guys, really, it's a it's... city of thieves. Take anything you want. The cops don't care. <laughs> it's completely yeah yeah. I've welcome to do whatever you want. Just go right. out. For okay, it. go steal. Walk me. nude if you want to. Yeah, I'm oh, not gonna walk. Sin nude. city. Go ahead. Always, always got to appreciate the happy rogue. As you guys drag yourself ashore, uh, you have little nicks and cuts, no loss of hit points, uh, but clearly all of your weapons and supplies are not good. Now, I'm going to roll a D8. Everybody else roll a D8. If you match me, I'll give you some money just because I'm a nice guy, but you got to match my D8 roll. <clears throat> Everybody roll. Seven. 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 Six. Four. Four and six. No money. I rolled a one. <laughs> you guys have no money. Uh, you're rolling into Heather Crossing District. Uh, as you come ashore, uh, this is a turtle community. Uh, you see a variety of individuals. Uh, Valakos, uh, little Frankie, uh, give me a D20 roll, please. 17. As uh, you guys wade ashore, uh, pretty malnourished, browbeaten, tired, and just kind of aggravated, uh, Valakos, you notice somebody uh, that you have seen before. Everybody roll a d12. Including me? 12. Oh, no, you're, you're fine. 12, 5. 4. 4. 5. 5. Cortran, what'd you roll? Uh, 12. Oh, okay. Uh, everybody but 
Oda Hana 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 uh, recognizes this individual <laughs> on the shoreline as he kind of uh, tries to, uh, you know what? Let's see. Why don't you just call him Odie? As she, I'll do that. Odie and uh, uh-huh. Garfield. And you know what? Uh, everybody but Odie uh, recognizes a woman known to you as Garfield. Uh, she is, for lack of a better term, uh, one of your competitors. Uh, recently, she is the cause of you guys getting your ass kicked and losing all your weapons. She and her group uh, sicked the natives on you. So if you've ever seen Raiders of the Lost Ark, this is the first five minutes. Uh, if only you spoke Havidos, you would have won. Uh, but you have not. Uh, Garfield slinks into the shadows and goes in between some buildings. One looks like a tavern. Uh, because clearly there is a row of individuals urinating on the side of the building. Uh, The other one looks to be an inn of uh, questionable repute. It is the Blue Bonnet Inn. She was between them. What would you guys like to do first? I have a question. Sure. Is this town like specifically turtles with like a few tourists or like people who are traveling through it or just like mixed and but it's in portal land you are deep within the turtle mm-hmm. homeland so there may be a few individuals not racially motivated to be turtles uh but they will be few and far between i'm a turtle what so are we we're the turtles yeah you're all the ninja turtles, turtles. Oh, cool. <laughs> the turtles. you guys got claws and shell defense too yes that's all you that's got the... that's all we have Courtesy of Garfield, she hosed you over. All of your shit got taken, and you have no money. Uh, First objective, let's go beat up Garfield. Yeah, We are shitless. Who yeah. has disappeared in between two buildings. Uh, you also notice several other people have finished their urination break, uh, and one of them looks at four. Uh, Cortran, hmm. what happened to you? A little misfortune. I've never met her. You can clearly be tell glad that. you have it. Yeah, you can tell that this guy's pretty drunk. We should go in the tavern and get work because that's usually how this goes. Nah, let's just steal. I mean, you said it yourself. You we'll steal something. You, in the city. Wouldn't ha- you wouldn't happen to have an extra gold piece to help a fellow turtle out. D12 against me? <laughs> Come on, brother. Eight. Come on, comrade. Oh, eight. Three. Come on, comrade. Ah, my friend. Comrade. I have been very fortunate. I just won a shitload of money. And he holds up this coin purse and jingles it. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're guessing eh, maybe 200 gold piece. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, you going to help a brother out here? I'm not a paladin. I'm a barbarian. I can just punch him. I, uh, I, I... I, I will help you because you remind me of my brother-in-law and anyone married to my sister deserves money. Yeah. So yeah. He, re- he reaches in, he extracts four gold pieces and spills eight others onto the ground, seemingly unnoticed as he kind of wavers to and fro. The I'm going to... Ad- slip my paw or whatever the hell it is foot over the ones that hit the ground and, and thank him profusely for the, the help. Roll me a D8. Let's see how many you uncover. D8 again. Eight. Yep. Uh, they all landed in a pile of little mud and you've covered them all. He claps you on the back of the shell and says, I need to pee. Uh, now, clearly, all of you saw that he just finished peeing. He will. <laughs> There's a runner. Uh, he goes back to the wall, kind of leans forward, and his head hits the wood, uh, and he again pees. You guys are now flush with 12 gold pieces, so that's a positive thing. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, but your nemesis, Garfield, uh, is somewhere in the area and most likely she will be a problem. These things write themselves, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would you like to do now? Well, I've got 
12 gold pieces burning a hole in my pocket, I feel a little bit naked. I, I. I, I, I. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm talking to the rest of the crew here. Oh, okay. I think uh, we need to go see what we can get with 12 gold pieces. We Each of us get one dagger. Each of us gets one singular well, dagger. If that's, what, if that's what it is, that's what it is. Or even one Wait, hammer or whatever. Where did this guy go again? Is he off into the shadows? Garfield or the pea guy? The pea guy. He is passed out with his head on the wall, the back wall of the tavern. So he's like sleeping? I, I know what you're thinking, but I can't think that way, and neither can little Frank, because we're supposed to be paladins. No, I'm a barbarian. It says oh, I'm you a are? Okay. Yeah, you're you're the only good I think barbarian should go. Nobody's talking to you there, Cortrain. I am the all barbarian, right, right, so right. I could do it, and it'd be fine for me if you just didn't notice me. Hey, hey, Maude, give me a D20, please. Oh, you dude. Catherine. Say again. Oh, I, dude. 18. <laughs> uh, you know what? You scratch your head and you... <laughs> what day is this? You know what? This is a freaking holiday. That's why everybody's so drunk. This is Ancestors Holiday. It celebrates the members of the town community who have passed away. So this is like uh, All Souls Day or Veterans Day. Oh, or uh, Day of the Dead. Yeah, so everybody's uh, going to get drunk. That's what uh, the problem is here. So this is a major holiday. So this is a major well, Like a doc holiday, back. if you will. I hope that means that all the shops aren't closed. <laughs> to do. You, guys, you guys are still Damn. on the river's edge. Uh, yeah, if we just call ourselves veterans and they let us in for free. Let you know what? Stolen free. valor is no <laughs> laughing matter. <laughs> <laughs> They will beat you. Uh, but uh, again, well, they don't veterans, know th this is just a day of remembrance for all those who have passed away. So, well, well, can I tell them I've died at some point and that I deserve money? What's your charisma? It's a plus three, actually. I'm pretty good. You don't look like you've died. No. Well, I can make it look that way. You want me to? I, I could be descended a from a wealthy are. ghost. We could all be descendants from Wall I got my Coast. uncle in Tiberia. He's got a boatload of gold. <laughs> oh. All right. I have an idea. Let's go spend some of those coins that we got. <laughs> I was going to say in the local tavern, but uh, uh, Felix is deeply ingrained in me. It's really hard yeah, to switch yeah, characters. I, know, I hear you. Uh, where, did go the, where did Garfield go exactly? Garfield. Garfield, we know, we haven't even seen in, it. In between the uh, tavern and the inn. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, get you some annotations, if you will. Do, uh, do we, we know that? Do we know that Garfield screwed us over? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Because you don't speak Havitos. <laughs> <laughs> Bella. All right. So oh, there you go. You guys are the bottom check. She went in between there. Uh, this is the tavern. And clearly that looks like an inn. Or I'm sorry, this is the inn. This is the tavern. Uh, Heather Crossing is uh, the uh, lower rent district, future uh, bulldoze site, if you will. But, you know, uh, it's there. All right. I say we go to the top. Let's go to the I top. Think, here's what well, we need to do. People are. No. <laughs> let's go into the tavern. In the, let's wait till everyone gets a little bit drunker. They get some of that drunk confidence. And let's go rile up a vigilante mob and take <laughs> down Garfield. That's not going to work. Who's with me? We could revolution uh, the city. I, I'm with you. <laughs> I think this is a winning idea. You know oh what? God. You have a great mind, but I don't think we should. She Rose just stole here. all of our stuff. Yeah, and I'm pissed. But I want yeah, justice. We could do it. Some, we could do it in like a minute. Hey, paladins, know. aren't you supposed to be a justice-seeking whore or something like that? I don't yeah. know. I haven't got that far. <laughs> <laughs> That's entirely up to you guys. Or, or we could, you know, wait till people get a little drunker and just start sliding the hand of uh, some uh, coin purse here. Well, that would, that would be, be fantastic if only one of us were a rogue. Ah, if we only had a rogue. I'd like to have a rogue. I wish My we had a rogue. hand is plus one. Hey, na 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 na. Mine's a plus three. Mine's a Mine's plus two. 
What a shitty rogue you are. <laughs> yeah, you're awful. <laughs> Four stealth. That's pretty good. It's it was survival. Right, we can make yeah. a campfire. <laughs> That's what survival means, right? Thank you. That's just what we need in this domesticated <laughs> city. We need a campfire of all things. Yeah. Now, one other thing you guys should make know: campfire, uh, was the head of a group, so there are four other members of her association probably floating around here because she was not alone when she dealt with you guys and threw you under the bus. What well, are do they like? Do they look like us? Do everybody's a turtle. This is well, a I mean, do they have family. weapons? Oh yeah, they didn't. They didn't lose their stuff. Oh okay. They they aren't bush league adventurers like <laughs> yourselves. <laughs> bush league. <laughs> oh, oh, getting you're, pissed. You're you're, you're, <laughs> four, you're fourth level and you got twelve gold pieces to your name. <laughs> you don't even have a chamber pot at this point. You guys are screwed. <laughs> I don't have. Well, I can still be uh, anyway. Excited. <laughs> So, uh, there you go. You are between the inn and the tavern. Uh, the row of uh, urinators uh, would lead one to believe that the celebration is in full swing. And you know what? Let's find out what time of the day it is. And let's find out what it's doing weather-wise. Uh, oh, good. Uh, you'll find out about that later. <laughs> four o'clock. It's our uh, four hours. You guys are at high noon, so everybody has apparently been drinking uh, since sunrise. Uh, the sun is at its zenith. However, dark clouds swirl around, portent of destruction and storm damage. Are we next to like a waterfront? You are next to a river. We should probably get uh, indoors, okay. right? No way. So we're not next to like a waterfront where a hurricane or a tsunami could destroy the town and us. <laughs> Correct. You are somewhere in the interior. So there's Good. only uh, a, a river. Flooding. So maybe oh, flooding or tornado. Ah, oh, gotcha. So uh, still... A tsunami that destroys the town. Why would that come to mind? I mean, I don't get it. Me neither. I don't know why. Because I rolled disaster. Wait, we're t- we can <laughs> swim in water. We can, like, float in water. We have shells. Why would a hurricane <laughs> no, no. be a best thing? We can't float in water. Turtles do not. Yeah, we can. Water. We have a shell. We can, like, float Not to only top. that, but I can hold my breath up to an hour. <laughs> I'm not afraid of the water. It says right on the character sheet. And we're all turtles. Hey, we're how, how, how many of you have ever thrown a frisbee? Because that's what you're wearing on your back. <laughs> yeah. Basically, we're going to be soaring through the air at Mach 10. Okay, so there you go. It's Ancestors, or Ancestors Holiday. Uh, you got 12 gold pieces burning a hole in Cortran's uh, pocket, shell, whatever. We need to, we need to find Brick and Wallet. We should prison, split the money between wallet. us. Burning a hole in his prison wallet. Yeah. I think we need to go <laughs> recruit some boys and go and smash some heads. You can go recruit the boys. Uh, I was, was going to say, that's how you're phrasing it? <laughs> yeah, you can do well, that. You know, I am still a woman. But oh, I well, okay, yeah, need I'll, to yeah, question yeah. round four, Garfield. He's Where Garfield. does it say if you're a woman or a guy? My character was know. named Catherine. I assume she's <laughs> You don't know that. You could be wrong. That is How true. Dare you. Odana, Odana is a very mixed name. name. Odana. 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 I guess you just have to roll for it and decide. So I'm going to start asking around <laughs> for uh, if anybody here. Do I recognize anybody? Because we were all part of the same crew, or was there separate crews? Right. Uh, Garfield and her folks teamed up with you guys. Uh, odd. It was your guys' idea, even. It was hers. Uh, it was her idea. Uh, you guys teamed up. We'll say you went after a temple that was guarded by Bullywogs, uh, and she spoke Hovitos, so the Bullywogs attacked you guys and not her. You assume she got away with the treasured Eyes of Blog, a giant uh, green gemstones worth a uh, sailor's fortune. Because that's what the goal was. Uh, all you know is uh, you guys got captured interrogated and then released because none of you looked worthy of eating. They, they, they if I look around, that hopeless. offends me very much. I, <laughs> if I look around in here, do I notice anybody from her crew? Well, now you're still outside. And oh, are you looking wow. at the line of peers? Yeah. You can go up to them and kind of tap on their shoulder and turn around. Hey, friend. How are you kind doing? Kind of weird. They're but you're going to have to D12 against me. 
comes up right by him. Just on. On. I know how this works. <sighs> I'm rolling to get pissed on. <laughs> He's like, what? He sprays you in the face. Oh, uh, you won. Oh, hi. What'd you get? I rolled, I rolled a two. Uh, yeah, you uh, spin one around and he urinates on your claw feet, but you recognize this guy. He was a porter named Terry, uh, and he was not really part of your crew or hers. Uh, he was just an individual assigned to haul shit, be a torchbearer, things of that nature. He was uh, a hireling, if you will. Uh, he bears no ill will against you. He was not present uh, when the tides turned and you guys were disarmed. He was back at camp. He probably knows nothing about it, but he goes, hey, 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 Tanbar, how, I don't remember you coming back. How did you, wait, where's your stuff? You're missing your stuff. Hey, this guy's great. He's missing his stuff. I love this guy. I know. Hey, bud, we're looking for Garf. She's got my stuff. Garfield does. You seen any of the boys? Uh, <clears throat> yes, I have indeed. Can you piss in that direction that we need to go? <laughs> he kind of whips it over, and you can hear it tingle off the shell of the dude next to him and he's 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 kind of pointing you towards the alley that garfield went down <laughs> well he's peeing I'm, I'm envisioning this it's great imagery thank you frank it, it, it is not an urban her, adventure <laughs> is that where her headquarters is <laughs> she's um 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 planning something here yeah she is he kind of continues to pee but he pees back onto the wall he was and he taps the guy next to him he goes hey what was the the garfield thing that she was thinking about doing uh the male next to her goes something about a heist yeah the heist uh, yeah, the heist. No, 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 no. This is, a, this, is a, this is a new heist. And we're supposed to... Just, because it's going to happen here. Where? I missed the meeting. <laughs> Where was the meeting at? Because we were supposed to be there. The meeting was in the... The gambling hall. Pair o dice. Pair. Is that where she hangs out? Pair o, and the dice are shaped like pears. You get it? <laughs> pair, pair o dice. <laughs> Is that where she hangs out? That's where we came in and we kind of set up because uh, they were the first ones to offer us drinks. Okay. Well, you guys have your next drink on me. I already paid the bartender. You guys enjoy. That is why, hey, this is why he's cool. He's cool. Are you a paladin? No. What are you? I'm a fighter ranger. Oh, okay. This is a, this is the this is the cool one. These other ones kind of jerks. <laughs> <laughs> Especially. Uh, Cortran, the paladin. I knew <laughs> <laughs> Another four. Cor Cortran a little holier than thou. Uh, I'm a paladin. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, hey, Cortran, I didn't thing. see you. I didn't. I, yeah, I'm, just, yeah. I'm just kidding. You look good. You look. You lost weight. <laughs> <laughs> I lost everything, smartass. He then falls <laughs> over and then kind of rocks back and forth on his shell, and the sun just continues to beat down on his Is he chest. peeing in the air now? No, he's done peeing. He's been peeing uh, for five minutes. That's but, too bad, because that shit would have been funny. So did he just pass out? He passed out, but he's upside down. So nobody oh, no, I'm, I'm just going to take him. over and, and help I've got to turn around. I'm just so everybody knows. I'm going to turn around and walk over here. You might want to check him, make sure he's not suffering. Two steps ahead of you. I'm going to pat him down and make sure there's nothing heavy on this side. 
It's like rolling back over. What Amen. do I find? It would have been funny if he was still paying and he suffocated. And, and not just gold purse either. We need weapons. Anything. <laughs> he has a short sword, 14 gold pieces worth of gems, and a parchment. If we all close. hold the short close. sword. If we all hold the short sword at once, we could all make a combo attack. I rolled a nat 20 to sleight of hand that stuff, right? Yeah. Does he have any clothes on? We gotta like, you know. I don't want to disrobe him. No, we're yeah. disrobing him. No, no just everybody's everybody's wearing the shelf. same thing. Yeah, it's, you're gonna steal him out of his shell. Yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah. shell him. You can do that, you. We need more uh, clothes. We're naked. We already we have it. We're not gonna wear two shells. Then we're just a ball. Double protection. Yeah, Did anybody right. snatch extra the hull? I'm gold? pretty sure that's like modern. Like you looking at the parchment? I'm looking at the parchment. I'm pretty it, sure a turtle deshelling another turtle is a war it, crime. It is a spell scroll. Go ahead and roll a d4. Three. A third level spell scroll. Uh, I'll let you uh, take a look. Uh, go ahead and roll randomly on the spell list to see what it is. Uh, Tanbar, nobody's paying attention to this guy, and he's just his head is just lurched back, and he's sawn wood. Uh, you, you've managed to get the short sword, hand over the parchment, and took the 14 gold pieces. You and Leaf are now flush. Uh, Valakos and Odie, I assume you were uh, kind of keeping watch to make sure nobody was there. Uh, everybody seems to be kind of headed back into the alley where you saw Garfield hide. Is the original, uh, is the original turtle that I talked to still passed out leaning against the building? Oh, yeah. I'm going to go over and make sure he's okay. Okay, make sure he's breathing. <clears throat> Along with his 200 minus 12 gold pieces. Yep. Yeah, that'd be 188. I'm just, I'm just making sure he's okay. Nobody cares a crap. So, so those, those two are the only two left. All the other drunks are either headed back into the tavern or headed down the alley where Garfield was. I rolled a 22, a sleight of hand for whatever I can find on him. Uh, nobody actually gives a crap, but 188, uh, is his, uh, one to three short sword, uh, four to six, something that you'd like. That's two, another short sword. All right. Uh, you know what? I'll give you a dagger too. He was flush. So you got two short swords and a dagger, uh, buttload of cash and a, uh, random third level spell. Probably have enough coin to buy an, an extra dagger for one of us since we have three or yeah. four. Uh, I, I don't a dagger. Do, do you guys know how to add daggers and stuff to your uh, paint your stuff? We can't. We can't add can't. anything. They're read yes, only. Can. Go to inventory and then click. Uh, they'll, be, they'll be read only since you sent them to them. Yeah. Yep. They're awesome. read only, dude. We can't add or touch anything. So yeah, add them with the, use the magic pen. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, right on your monitor. So Like stab them with the pen? No, I printed mine out. Yes, you're all John Wick. It worked. <laughs> I'll use my claws. I'll stick to that. Just write well, it on a piece of paper. Yeah, Whoever's play, got what? Play, Who's got what? Who's got what? All right. Somebody else can have the short sword and the uh, dagger for <clears throat> O'Shaughnessy over there. Just give me whatever. I'll take whatever. Give the rogue a dagger? I gave the rogue a dagger. Okay, I have a dagger now. And either Contran or the Barbarian yeah, the, can use the short sword. I don't care. We have, we got, use we have two short swords. I you got better took attack. One. I took one. Okay. And Frankie, you can take the other one. Write it down. Uh, do you already have something? <clears throat> do me? No, I'll get something. I ain't worried about it. All right. Frankie, it's a one by six plus, uh, I don't know how to. One die six plus your. Uh... Your strength bonus. There you go. Yep, there we go. All right, All right so I rolled for the spell. Do you, you want to roll me what I got? Hey. Sure, go ahead. Well, or you know what? Uh, you can just message me or keep it to yourself. Okay, I'll keep All it to right. myself for now. But all that. Well, actually, I'll message you just to let you know what it is. Sure. All right. So we got that stuff all sorted. Uh, 
It's what time is that you say it was around noon? Yep. You guys are hungry. Yeah. I say we get something to eat and I'm sure there's a store somewhere we can stop at before we continue to wander forth. Uh, well, you're on the outskirts of town. If you go into the interior, you should be fine. Let's go to the interior. And then uh, what was the name of that place? The Gambler? Or... Uh, Paradise. Pear. 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 They look like Pear. pears. Yeah. So I say we go into town, we find what we need, and then we can question around about uh, a pair of dice. <laughs> a pair. It's shaped like a pear, right? <laughs> Well, <laughs> I'm curious. Does Dice Dog have pear dice? It's a pear. Uh, not, not currently. Come soon. It's got a nice pear shaped deck. dice. So now, you guys currently game, now I got to play with a pair of dice. Yeah, I just got here, it. You're, you're here at Heather Crossing. Uh, what district do you want to go into? Uh, trade district would be my guess. Yes. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah, uh, that sounds good. As you guys uh, head in there, Garfield is nowhere to be seen. The drunks are kind of left, left, right, left, left, right, 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 <laughs> left, kind of staggering in. You notice that all of the shops are closed. Uh, signs on the door read closed for Ancestors Day. Uh, the trade shops vary from uh, tobacco products to uh, swim goggles. You know, because those are important. Uh, so, there are there are no uh, armors or armory or weapon areas in this district. Uh, these are all general trades, uh, furniture, things of that nature. Uh, outside, there's one shop that has a bunch of apples uh, that seem to be unattended, uh, and there is a loud calamity coming from further in, probably the main square. I just wonder if the main square, is it more like a bazaar type area? Uh, it's up to you. Do you want to go look? Well, it's, uh, I want to. Okay. I'm going to, uh, as we go that way, I'm going to go just look at those apples. Sure. Damn it. Get over here, Mr. Mouse. Can you grab me too? Why are you looking at them? Peer into yeah. the swim goggles shop. I'm looking at those apples with a sleight of hand of 19. Oh, yeah, easily. As you peer into the uh, swim goggles, you notice that it's, uh, what's that old glass called? Bottle? Bottle end? Bottle cap? You know, the Not round? Sure. bottle? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, Coke bottle glass. Uh, so you can't really see in there. You can't see in well enough to know that it's dark and nobody's in there. Uh, why is there a swim goggle shop in a town that consists mostly of turtles that can see underwater? <laughs> Clearly, well, this is a front. I'm going to try the door. Uh, D12. Rips the door off its hinges. Well, it's <laughs> I rips the door off its hinges, baby. Not Bang. only is it unlocked, you notice a uh, recent passing. Oh, I'm going to... Go ahead. I was going to say, I'm going to whisper to whichever party member is closest to me. Hey, yeah. guys. Be quiet. This door's unlocked. I Shut think up. there's people Get in there. Down. <laughs> yeah. Stage whisper? Huh? Uh, not a stage hey, whisper because I've been outside and <laughs> people all around. So uh, that's fine. Uh, as you open the door <laughs> quietly, I assume. Uh, uh, yes, as quietly as I can. You can hear murmuring, some shifting. Clearly, somebody's moving stuff left to right. Bada, bada, bada. Uh, and you see a, a slight shadow near the back. What if hmm, I'm thinking about charging in, but I don't know. No, don't charge in. Shh, people you should in. charge in. I think, I think this I is should. the... I'm going to whisper, uh, not really whisper, I'm going to say loudly like I'm trying to whisper, hey, I think this is the meeting place. Uh, you hear a clatter as clearly somebody has dropped something. Uh, some scuffling in the back room is heard. Uh, and then a slam. Oh. <laughs> I am going to army crawl. And I'm going to get down on all. Um, He's going to get down, down on army crawl with this giant freaking shell <laughs> picking up. Yep, nobody will see me. The counters are too high. Our, I guess uh, I will hide behind him army crawling in because he's blocking the damn doorway. <laughs> sure. Now, uh, Valakos, that's actually a good move 
because as you low crawl in army style, uh, you see what appears to be a metallic crab directly ahead of you. As you move in slowly, the eye stalks whoop, 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 uh, raise up. Does it make that sound like a warning alarm? Yes, and it's, uh, a, it's an aggravated Roomba. And uh, there are little lights on its antenna and it, doo -doo 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 -doo, it starts to move its claws. Uh, it's signaling moving. something. <laughs> yes, and it starts to scurry towards you. It, it's about the size of a Roomba, so it's not very large, but it looks very angry. Does uh, it look very expensive? It could be. Uh, but okay, first, while well, it comes at me. You and okay. Maude need to give me perception checks. Right, did they come in the room yet? What's my Nine. perception? Where is it? It's in my perception. Perception plus four. So that is a 15. Uh, Valakos, you hear additional uh, movement similar to this metallic crab. Maude, you hear Valakos pass gas because you are behind him. <laughs> I'm going to let out a loud, oh, come on, man, really? Okay, while the crab is charging at me, is it like, is it like Roomba speed where it's like, like that it's slow? A, it's a little bit faster. It's its mechanical guard dog. Okay, so while it's charging at me, I am going to stand up a little bit, still crouch down, but stand. Now you see there are four. I'm crouched. There are four crabs now? Yep. Okay, so what I'm going to do is these crabs, can I just kind of, like, while I stand up, just push them past me like that, and they would well, go after them? First off, uh, Tanbar, Cortran, and Odie, what are you doing? You guys are outside currently. Expecting some apples. apples. Watch, I guess. Well, That's kind of what I was doing, was keep watch. I don't have a, a, a weapon yet. And I'm, I have a weapon, so. I, think I have, have a weapon in stealth. We could go around the building to the back. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that to the sure. back of the building. The D12 behind. against me, Odie. Okay. Eight. Three. Uh, you actually see what appears to be a lizard folk exiting the back door and running the opposite direction from you. Uh, the door it exited from appears to be at the back door. Okay. Are you gonna chase after them? Are you gonna tell us? Well, they didn't. Uh, uh, guys, there's lizard people running through the back door. You're gonna have to yell because you've already <laughs> taken off and you're around the back side while Tan Bar and Fortran are keeping watch. Oh yeah, I'm gonna uh, yell that to uh, Tan Bar, like uh, where the others were. Where I came. Twelve from. against me. Let's see if the local gendarmes hear you. Three. Six. Uh, your shout of. Uh, there's somebody out here, lizard folk, has garnered the attention of two individuals, uh, odd even if they're guards. Can I remember the political status between lizards and turtles? Uh, sworn enemies. Okay, good. Uh, turtles, thieves. They are they are usually a uh, slaver class uh, in uh, the portal world. So. Okay. Uh, the two individuals that see you appear to be normal citizens not currently inebriated. Uh, you yell, but Tanabar, Tanbar and Cortran give me perception checks to see if you hear them. What was that? Yeah. What was that? Too far? Oh, That's what I imagine the conversation going on. That <sighs> Ugh, I didn't hear shit. That's the, that's the exact conversation that is going on. Uh, while Cortran and Tanbar sample the apples and uh, look around, <laughs> noting nothing's going on, I'll take initiative from Maud and Valkos. Well, I didn't say I want to attack them. I said I wanted to throw them out the door. Oh, they want to attack you. Uh, I do. <laughs> My, uh, that is a 14. 10 and 14. Uh, the metal crabs, uh, odd will be Maud, even will be Valkos. And see, Valcos. Frank thought we wouldn't make it to five o'clock. Look, we Valcos. made it before we died. Uh, Valcos, you got three mod. One is doing the end around and coming at you. I will roll three die for Valcos. 
Uh, 9, 11, and 5. Do any of those hit your AC? Wait, what were they again? 9, 11, 11 and, five. and 5. Nope, none of them. My armor class uh, is 17 with the shell, oh, maybe. A 4. Uh, so uh, they are snapping with metallic claws at you. Let's go with the 14 up first, Valkos. Okay. Uh, could I, like... Push them away without like a push struggle. Them, do you want to push them out the door? Yes. I would like to push them out the door, then tell Maud to close the door. Give me a strength check. Or I'm sorry, give me a give me a dexterity. A dexterity to, to hit them. Yeah. To hit them. That is a natural 20. Nicely done. Roll odd even. Okay. That is odd. Uh Valicos actually physically grabs one of the metal uh, lobsters, throws it behind him over Maud's head, striking Tanbar in the shell. Yes! Having yes! A, having a drop down. Uh, Maud, uh, Valkos is yelling for you to close the door. Do you want to attack the one that's attacking you, or do you want to close the door? Uh, I think I'm going to attack the one that's attacking me. Good call. Why? It's going to come back in the whole point. Because they don't look so terrifying. Yeah, so it's just, I'm going to use well, the claws. Wanna, well, you don't know that. They're made of metal. Uh, 12? Yeah, 12 hits them. I, did, 12, I can't wait for uh, like a flame blood shirt to come out of the top and spit at them. Uh, it, uh, you have short-circuited it. Uh, your claw has entered in and plucked a wire. Clearly an artificer has created this stupid thing. And it... Uh, so now there are two left in outside tan bar roll initiative at disadvantage okay so it's attacking him now yeah. okay good so at least i got off me so now i, only I have think two. technically aren't you attacking him you threw the lobster thing at him <laughs> with a nat 20 <laughs> should i keep this in like a bag and just chuck it at enemies <laughs> Five. Uh, Cortran, give me an initiative roll because I sense problems. I wonder if I could cut it open and rewire it to be my friend. Would that take a nat 20? Take a lot more than you got. <laughs> what would it take for me to even like, what, would, what does it take for people to make those even? Does it take like that to be an artificer art background? Oh, okay. So I, Which could... I actually rolled one of those up. <clears throat> Cortran, what's your initiative? You're muted, Cortran. A one? one? Yeah, uh, that, thing, feel good. that thing's coming right at you. Uh, after skittering off Tan Bar's shell, uh, it goes after Cortran. Uh, with a nine, these things are not melee proficient. Inside, there are still two on uh, Valkos. <clears throat> a two and a 13. Those are both going to miss. Uh, around, the, around the back side, uh, Odie, what you going to do? Uh, there's a lizard escaping. There's two people looking at you, and they use their insight uh, to determine one of them thinks you're a good guy. The other one thinks you're a jerk. 19 and four. Okay, uh, before I do, I have to make sure the person that thinks I'm a jerk, you know, thinks I'm a good guy. So I'm going to say that two lizards uh, left from that building, even though the building's closed, which means foul play is at hand since they don't know where they are because this is the trade district. They're meant to be in the other district and they left a building that's meant to be closed. And I tell that to both of them. And then the lizards ran that way. Persuaded. Okay, so Oh, it's what? Minute. I don't. I, not even I know what happened. I have minus two persuasion. Should of course, that uh, makes sense. Sixteen. That's pretty good. Uh, they buy it and take off running uh, the way that you point. Gracias. Okay. Do you uh, point I point in the correct direction? Yes, I point directly where they went. Okay. So you're not going to go after them. You're just going to feel like job well done and walk back. Well, I don't know what's happening, so I should probably go with them to chase the two lizards. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Uh, do you want to overtake them, or do you want to run in the rear? Um, 
How far are the lizards gone? Can I still uh, see them in my eye? Oh yeah, oh yeah, they're they're not too far ahead. These are not adventure in stock. This is uh, normal citizens. Okay, then I go after them with the okay. two others. But do you want to overtake them and take the lead, being a hero type, or do you want to uh, just follow behind and see how they do? Um. <clears throat> let me see. I think I'm going <laughs> to stick behind and see how they do. Fair enough. Uh, they round the corner yelling, thieves, 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 and come to a dead stop. Inside the structure, uh, we've got Maud and Van. Uh, there's still two on Van. What do you want to do, guys? Um. Can I like do like a my tail sweep and like I have uh, I have uh, tail have sweep? Tail. It's only about I that long. Tail. Is it only about like that long? Yeah. You have a well, I, have, I have a tail. Of, I have a tail attack with a ten foot reach, so it's not. Well, mine must like go go gadget extendo arm. He must it's, have big claws. <laughs> I was wondering if I could just like hit both of them with. I, I'll, I'll give you the tail swipe with both of them if you okay. hit. If not. They'll get an opportunity attack. Check right up to Kuwait. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the plus? That's plus five at 17. Oh, yeah. Easily. You tail swipe them in uh, and send them into a bookcase causing a loud crash. Woo! Perfect. Lovely. Exactly to my plan. Sure. Uh, did I mention this was a bell shop? No, this is a goggle shop. <laughs> uh, Maud, you see uh, Valkos sweep the leg. <laughs> what do you want to do? Uh, is, I think there's still one on me, correct? One uh, more? You, you got it. Are they all gone? Yeah, you, you got it. Oh, perfect. Uh, no, there's one on uh, Contrain. Yeah. Still, they threw it out the door. Contrain oh, still has crabs. Yeah, yeah. Contrain can handle that himself. I'm not going to help out with that. Felix has a little cone still, for what it's worth. There you go. But uh, Felix ain't here. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And even if I'm, he was, I wouldn't be using his cone. Felix makes a surprise cameo. Get more than crabs. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to continue get rid of. towards the back of the uh, swim goggle shop, mm -hmm. towards where okay. I heard all the mummer, muttering or whatever, the noise when I walked in. I sure. would also... Um, well, you, you've already gone, Val. Yeah, I've already gone. I realized that now. So, Maude, you move around. Uh, it, it's kind of an open shop uh, because this is Lens Crafter's goggle shop. Hmm. And you make it to the back room uh, where you notice some kind of apparatus that appears to be some kind of uh, grinding mechanism, probably uh, uh, uh. able to fix the glass. Give me an insight check. Uh, 19 plus six, so 25. As you, reach, as you reach the back, you notice this grinding machine. You notice some uh, glass, uh, although it's a little bit murky. But then you see a pair of goggles that look like they're recently finished. As you peer into it, uh, you notice some magnification. So you can surmise that maybe this is for visually impaired turtles that need assistance underwater. Hmm. I guess that's why there's a goggle shop in a tortoise. Or, yes. <laughs> well, anyway, I, I don't know how you didn't see that. I, that makes <laughs> so a lot of sense. think that there are visually God. impaired ones. So now that we've already committed a deed so and just okay. broken into a shop, let's just take the register and take the money. Now, well. out, outside, uh, Tanbar, you felt something hit your uh, shell. And you notice it scurry towards uh, Cortran. Cortran rolled a one, so your initiative goes first. Do I see it going after him? Oh, yeah, I tried to attack him last round. All right, I'm going <clears> to <throat> stab it with my steely knife here. Sure. Metal on metal crime. Yeah, you know. uh, do, 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 15. Oh, yeah, easily hits it. Nine, nine points of damage. Oh, that thing's in pieces everywhere. Uh, I mean, you see strange little filament wires. Uh, you see the metal casings. I mean, that thing is just destroyed easily. I'm going to uh, uh, use to my paw and push it under a table or something, so it's out of sight, out of mind. Well, you're outside. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll push it back inside the door. Sure. That'll work. Uh, Cortran, your fearless associate Tan Bar has saved you. What would you like to do? Well, now that this nonsense is over, I'm going to go in the shop, see what the hell is going on. At first, uh, Tan Bar, Cortran, give me a perception check again. My perception. The shop owner sucks. has walked back to his shop after drinking. I thought um, 17. Uh, Tan Bar is. I am victorious. Uh, but Cortran, uh, you recall that Odie went around the right side, uh, but you hear yelling around the left side. You also hear some kind of crash noise inside the building, and you're pretty sure there's Valico's screwing around, but you aren't positive. So you got noise to the far left, got noise inside. You're missing at least one party member, uh, but there's nobody on the street. Oh, crap. And I'm still weaponless. I'm going to, instead of going in, I will go around and see what's going on on the, on the, on the left side, the opposite side of the way that Odie went. You see down the short alleyway two turtles, unfamiliar to you, uh, running along. Uh, and then a third turtle, who is vaguely familiar to you, uh, give me a perception check to see if you realize it's Odie or not. Wait, does he see the back of them and they just all look the same? He kind of sees the side of them as they go running past. For and Odie's got this real long snout on him. Uh, mm -hmm. Natural 20. Oh, yeah, that's Odie. He must be, those must be the guys that were inside the shop and he's chasing them down. So those I'm are witnesses, <laughs> man. <laughs> right, I'm going after him too. Fair that's enough. You go shooting down the alleyway. Uh, inside, Maud, uh, you found the lens crafter swim goggle shop. Uh, Valakos has noticed that his two crab assailants are inverted, so they aren't going to do anything. Their little mechanical legs moving back and forth. Beep, 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 beep. What do you two want to do inside? Okay, so since we've already broke and entered, I would like to check the money box. Ransacking. Give me a investigation to see if you can find it. Let's see how good my investigation is. Let's just look at it before I even do anything. Plus zero. Big numbers. <laughs> so it's a nice 12. It's 12. It's a, it's a mediocre 12. Yeah, you know, you find a, a small box uh, that jingle, jangle, jingles uh, with it when you fiddle with it. Uh, you're going to go ahead and find... Uh, 12 gold pieces in there. Maud, what are you doing? Uh, Maud's going to look around this back room here for anything that could be used as a like prison-style shiv weapon. A screwdriver, a leather awl. Don't you already have a dagger? I didn't get a dagger. I just got a spell. Now uh, Odie's got the dagger. Um, D12 against me, Maud. Because I assumed that I was in the back of this lens crafter's shop. Yeah. Make a rudimentary weapon. Four. Eleven. Uh, you find a lot of screwdrivers. Tiny screwdrivers. <laughs> Kill them with a pencil like John Wick. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that the tiny screwdrivers are super now, useful. You do find a nice uh, jagged shard of uh, murky glass. Uh, as long as really care is not. taken, you might be able to use it to enhance your uh, martial arts. Can I see any you can use hand wraps for the goggles face. to wrap around and make a, like I said, a prison shank? Yeah, I would say that you would probably find some flat leather stripping. All right, I'm going to do my best to not cut myself and wrap it around so that when the shit goes down later, I can at least, I'll at least cut myself. Give me a survival check. Oh, geez. See if you can survive making it. Uh, gonna stab someone. It's gonna break off. Oh, Get twenty-three. Oh yeah, yeah. You know how to. You know how this is done. You got the fourth level. You guys. You guys have your shit down. Yeah. Uh, out, outside tan bar. Uh, you see uh, Cortran take off down the alley. You look around. Notice that Odie's nowhere to be seen. Uh, Maud and Valakos are inside creating nine kinds of hell. Uh, but. There's nobody else on the street, so you guys are safe. 
I'm going to go in and let them know that, hey, <clears throat> Cody's gone. I saw Gortram running down the alley. Is there a backstory to this place? Or, the this party split in here. Then I would like to look out the back door. Or no. Uh, I mean, no. Uh, you see Cortran. Uh, well, you know what? I don't know. Uh, give me a perception check. Me? Yep. Uh, it's, it's, uh, ten. Uh, the, the marks on Cortran's shell are definitive enough uh, that you recognize your associate. He seems to be running down this small street. You do not see Odie or the other two. I'm going to... You're looking out the door. Oh, Odie, the door. Uh, you notice that the two citizens have stopped dead in their tracks and they are turning around towards you. What do you want to do, oh. Nicholas? I thought he fell asleep for a second. <laughs> it looked like I'm he gonna... fell asleep. Did you fall asleep? No. I think I'm going to... So how far are they ahead of me? Ten feet. And they're turning around and they're running full bore right back at you. You don't know mm. why. Well, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a base. So <laughs> just going to put my hands on my waist. And I'm going to like go into them <laughs> as they come into me. <laughs> and like take it. And stop. Okay. Well, now there are two of them. Uh, go ahead and roll a strength check, please. Oh, They're both yes. going to lock arms and just close lines. I was hoping you would say strength. <laughs> 16. 16? I had a, it's plus three. I thought, okay. Uh, good news is these normal citizens are no adventuring stock. Uh, they run directly into you in your Superman pose and ricochet off your chest. Give me a perception check. <clears throat> I'd like to think they're 15. both professional adventurers. Uh, <laughs> someone is coming up behind you. Well, like, okay. Like, uh, like what do you mean behind me? Like, Turn it, stab. Turn it, like, not, not in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean behind? <laughs> behind? <laughs> What's the country of <laughs> Son, don't ever break the law. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm sorry. You're a horrible liar. They will break you instantly. <laughs> what do you mean? Put your hands up. Could you describe oh, how to do that? Um. Okay. Turn and um, stab. Turn and stab. They're coming. To they, so the people that ricochet onto me are they like on the ground now? They're on their butts. Okay, then I'm gonna turn around and see who's behind me. Cortran, uh, give me a perception check. Is it Cortran? It's Cortran. <laughs> Oh, okay. Want me to give you one? Yes. <laughs> Three. You do not see what has chased the two citizens back, but you notice uh, Odie has got his dagger up ready to turn you into turtle soup. Odie, what the hell are you doing? I thought you were a lizard. Uh, oh, anyway. I'm sorry. I forgot. I forgot I'm a paladin. Odie, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> uh, a bevy uh, of creatures, and when I say bevy, I mean seven. Uh, they're they're about a foot tall. They're called muck dwellers. Uh, they've got a, a spined ridge along their back, uh, but they look like uh, they look like standard lizards that you win a stuffed animal from, you know, something like that. Yeah. They don't look very intimidating, but there are seven, and the two citizens. Uh, have dealt with them enough, they didn't want to deal with them. You two are there. Uh, Valakos, you're looking out the door. You see uh, Cortran go around the corner. That's all you know. Maud, uh, you're looking around. You're fas fashioning your weapon. And Tanbar, you come to the back, looking around, still chewing on your apple. So uh, Odie and Cortran, give me initiative roll. Hey, just one. remember, those Some better than a better than one. Come on! Oh, 14. I feel good. Twelve. 
Do you have to roll for all seven of those creatures or just? Nope. I'm just uh, going to roll for all of them. Same <clears throat> So, Maud, Val, and uh, Tanabar, Tanbar, what do you guys want to do? Well, uh, letting them know what I've seen. I'm heading out the back to follow in suit. Well, you can't because Val's kind of looking out the back door, hogging yeah, it. I'm out the back door then. Get out of the way. Oops. You push past him and you notice an empty alleyway. I, he's crazy. He doesn't know what the hell he's looking at. I guess I will follow uh, Dan Barr as well. Uh, Valcos, uh, Valcos, you get pushed into the door frame yet again by Maud. Maud looks out. You don't see anything. I'm going to push back and say, you stop pushing me. I'm going to push back and say, you're standing in the doorway. You don't block the doorway. I'm not, I was looking out the door. You can't stand in the doorway. Hey, quiet, knucklehead. They're Maud, prison. Maud, Tan, and Val, give me perception checks. Come <laughs> on, oh, big nope. numbers, big numbers. 16, 7, uh, 15. Woo! Tan bar, Val goes. Uh, the familiar sound of a guard's whistle uh, is coming through the building near the front. Moving down the alleyway away from this door building. Oh, yeah. yeah. Out the door. Okay, so uh, can we? Sh- I, I would like to shut the door on the way out as well. That'd be good. <clears throat> Fair enough. Uh, Cortran, you had the 14. Uh, he's busy. He did have a 14, though. Uh, we'll let him. Uh, who wants to roll to attack? He has no weapon. Unarmed strike. Got it. I don't know what his strength is. We'll just do a base roll of 18. You could use claws. Yeah, you can use claws. Okay, because 14 on claws. I don't know what his bonus is. It's uh, plus yeah, three four, for everybody. 14 is good enough to hit a muckraker. Or muck dwellers. Uh, damage. Uh, damage. Uh-huh. Claws. He rolls a three. Still hey, I, I have to, you're going to have to give me a timeout. My wife's lost in South Carolina, so I got to call her. Sure, no problem. If she goes to the right, she'll be in the Atlantic. Yeah, pretty much. No, she'll have to go left because she was heading south. Ah, of course, now yeah. she might be going west. Probably end up in Atlanta. Okay. <laughs> uh, so oh, um, we got to go south. Oh. <laughs> the much dwellers will attack. I have two citizens. I have Odie. I have Cortran. The other three go after Cortran, <coughs> uh, Odie, and a citizen. So they attack the citizen, two of them. Uh, no, that's not going to work. The other citizen has one. That's a no. Uh, two on Odie. Uh, that's an 18. That's a hit. And two on four. Ten, 10 and eight. That is a miss. Uh, give me a wisdom save, Odie, as one of the muck dwellers spits a stream of mud directly at your eyes. Ew. 13. Uh, 13 is good enough. You were only partially blinded. Uh, it is now your turn because you had the 12. So what buildings are we near right now? Uh, aren't sure. <laughs> is, this like a, is this still like the trade district area or like a... Yeah, you're, you didn't go that far. Uh, it, it looks like it. So and, like... <laughs> you're blinded is what he's telling you. So like if I just, you know, ran a couple feet this way, there's like a building I can go into, right? You've not seen any doors in this alley. Okay. How fast are these uh, small lizards? Uh, you had turned around, so you have no idea. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. Then I'm going to use my dagger and uh, try and hit one of them. Sure. Eleven. You're on camera. Uh, Eleven does not hit it. Say so you okay. Uh, so that is your role. Uh, Maud, Val, and Tan. 
Give me a D12. D12? 11. You son of a bitch. Two. It was an eight. I, ro I rolled a one. Oh, okay. Now. Oh, what were you we supposed to roll? I zoned out. D12. Like uh, plus anything? Nope. Three. Uh, all three of you catch up. You see that your two associates, along with two civilians, uh, are battling little tiny Geico gecko looking things with a fin along their back. Uh, Odie is doing his pirate imitation and has mud in an eye. But you three, eye. you three come up, you are at an intersection. If you move forward, you will be blocked by the two citizens and Odie. If you remain in the intersection, you can kind of coax those guys out and form a semicircle uh, to deal uh, hatred and distress on these muck dwellers. I, I, I want to coax out first. <laughs> Come here, yeah, guys. Like... Come on over. Yeah, come this way. Yeah. And while uh, I got doing this. some candy for you. Uh, yeah, I bet you do, mustache. <laughs> tan, <laughs> tan bar roll for Cortran. Odie, uh, give me a d20 roll. You're going for perception. 14. Tanbar, what is uh, Cortran's role? What, what was the role for? Perception. Perception. Probably, probably plus two. Nice, plus three. Oh, he nice. rolled a 15. Uh, you guys hear them. Come here, come here. We can fight them this way. Do you want to uh, form up the semicircle in the... Uh, intersection or you want to say screw it i'm going to fight these guys power rangers four semicircle combine od now, now that, that you're drinking what do you want to do attack of opportunity though it will if they disengage uh, or i should not use the word disengage it will if they retreat od come on come on come on what do you want to do od so I guess we're going to form the semicircle. Uh, you charge. Yes. Uh, they attempt to spray your buttocks in mud, but fail horribly. Uh, as you and Cortran turn around to uh, rebuke these individuals and hang out with your friends, you can hear screaming uh, as you turn back around. The two citizen uh, turtles have had an ear ripped off by each. Uh, but the muck dwellers uh, return from whence they came. All um, right, leave the area because we did it. Bol bolstered by the additional members of your crew, uh, they want none of that. Oh, it's a yeah. win for us. We tough yeah. Uh The two turtles. Uh, you know what? I don't think turtles have ears. I think they're just holes, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. The they they punch punch let me see. Holes. Let me they see. Punch they punch the turtle in the hole. Let me see if they have ears. Wait a Let second. me look up. Yeah. Gave them this is something I have to Google. This is a How real is... thing to Google right now. How are they keeping those swim goggles on? We're tight, deeper tight, into the tight band. Band. <laughs> <laughs> Real tight straps. That's right. Because mm. I think they I have the, uh, fishy. the big arches <laughs> over their eyes. <laughs> Yeah, no, they got a ridge and it's just it's a it's flat like a turtles do not have external hills, they only have internal hills. It's allow turtles to hear sounds which is not as good as animals <laughs> and external ears. Turtles hey, are able to hear sound, hey, but because they do not have external ears. My hills, god, somebody hear, mute hearing is not very good. Uh, Alexa, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Nerd alert. Uh hey, good okay. news, folks. We are educational. Uh, that being said, they have ripped strips of flesh off the two citizens who are grateful uh, at your courageous actions in saving their lives from a certain uh, devastating abuse by muck dwellers. Uh, they, <coughs> they hand over... <coughs> each one hands over 15 gold pieces to... Woo! 15 to Val, 15 to Maud. To yeah! Maud. That's yeah, what life savior. is worth to you. Val, Val and Mod. Thank you. How the hell did Val and Mod get 
<laughs> well, they yeah. were the first yeah. ones there. <laughs> yeah. Or no, I'm they sorry, were... Odie, right? Odie, yeah, I was the I first one there. It, it was Odie and Maud. Odie and Maud get uh-huh. the uh, money. Uh, no, Odie and Contran were the first ones there. Odie and Contran. Okay, right. ran up. Oh, but Odie. we asked first. Odie and Cortran get the money. So, so Maud and Val don't get anything? Shut nope. up. Okay. Okay. Just wanted shut to it. say that. You, you, know. shut <laughs> you, can uh, <laughs> you can pursue the muck dwellers, or you're at an intersection, uh, a different intersection than what Cortran was on. So you are deeper inside the trade district. Uh, the celebration can still be heard. It's kind of off to your left. Well, I think we did a hard day's work. We did a hard day's work of victory. We should go to the celebration to the left. I am going to follow the muck dwellers. Not at a running pace. Uh, are we splitting the party again? Late, yes. Well, the, the muck dwellers would be headed towards it, or you could go left off the intersection and also probably find the uh, boisterous celebration. So I have Valakos following the muck dwellers. Odie, are you following or are you going to take the left? Well, I already got the money, so that's true. We already won in the eyes of the public. Is that bullshit? Enough? We that's need to go get our stuff back from Garfield. That bitch needs to pay. Yeah, that's left, right? We don't know. Left. If we go left, though, there's oh, the pair. We have to find left? the pair. The pair dies. Hey, I I know you're in pain from loss of some flesh. You know where the paradise is? Hey. No. <laughs> paradise in a pear shape, remember? Remember no, the dance I, in a pear shape. I'm not going to paradise devil. yet. Oh, oh, you want to? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, that way, that way. Uh, and it's the same direction as the muck rollers were coming from. Oh, well, there it goes. Yeah. Okay, we're, and, gonna and, we're going that and way. And Val is already headed that way. Hey, did you join back after the? I wonder if he came. Grandpa, did you join back after yeah, I'm here. we were doing this? Uh, yeah, I saw that and I thought, nah, Felix ain't playing this damn game. No, we're, that's the international symbol for rolling dice. No, that's not the symbol for rolling dice. That's like this. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I, I was, was doing that. And the then you just throw it. Milking the barmaid. These are turtles. You may very well have been milking the barmaid. Ugh. You can milk anything if you try hard. So, we're at the heart, but heading towards the blue. No, you're at the blue. Oh. Uh, that is the intersection. When you reach that intersection, major intersection, you can see to the left, down past the heart, that appears to be the public square. Uh, loud bands are playing. Uh, not very good bands. They're your typical celebration bands. Oh, they're playing a morose kind of music. Uh, but where the heart is, there's a paradise. Uh, it looks like somebody's pickup truck uh, is right there. But the celebration is just beyond it, and it is in full swing. Kegs uh, are lying in the area. People are having a great time. There might be some female turtles. Maud, there might be some male turtles there. You know. <laughs> now, you notice this whole area right here in the gray yeah. is kind of roped off. Uh and everybody give me a perception check. 15. 16. 5. 8. 21. Everybody above 12 21. notices that just opposite the paradise, uh, this whole roped off section is a uh, kind of high dollar area, including a mint and a jeweler. Guards are positioned every six feet uh, in this entire block. So clearly there's something uh, expensive in this region. And the guards uh, look... Maybe that's, where, maybe that's where she sold the jewels. Uh, Garfield. Because didn't she say, didn't they say they stole like the two eyes? That... Yeah, the eyes of Blog yeah. from the temple. No, we might. That might be where they sold them, or maybe this Sorry. is where the next heist is going to take place. That's, that's what, I that's what I'm thinking. That's where the heist is going to take place. I would maybe think they would sell it to them. Paradise, give it back. 
So uh, you've got the celebration, uh, you've got uh, the Paro dice, uh, and then you can go into the uh, flame reach. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, in a tell Odie, uh, let's, let's, Odie, we still need a little bit more gold, I think, to uh, properly get everybody outfitted. Let's go down and join a celebration. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, I was you, gonna follow them. All right. So you three are going. Uh, what about you, Tan Bar and Bomb? Yeah, that sounds good. I want to go look for Garfield. I want to kick her ass. Sure. I was going to follow the muck dwellers. I'm well, the sorry. Muck, the muck dwellers have disappeared. <laughs> oh, they just evaporated? That, Got it. When I was taking care of the ant today, she had the Golden Girls on. That name Maude just keeps throwing me off. <laughs> <laughs> Dorothy. Dorothy is the, <laughs> Dorothy is the wizard of the group now. Oh, oh my God. What's <laughs> so, Dorothy? So, oh, dude. Uh, Val, Tanbar, and Maud, are you also going to the celebration, or are you going to wander around the paradise? I will wander around the paradise. Uh, did we believe uh, Garfield was in the paradise? That's where I thought. That's where we wanted. Yeah. To that was the information that you got. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to the paradise looking for Garfield. Tanbar, uh, two and two. I'm going to go, be heavy. I'll go with Dorothy there. Uh, Maud, Tanbar, and Valakos, you go into the Pier of Dice and you notice uh, a very stench-ridden place. Uh, it smells of a variety of things, none of them very good. Velvet covered, yeah, velvet covered tables uh, with numerology are present. There's a big old spinning wheel there, places full of turtles. Uh, you also see some human adventurers in there. Uh, one of them kind of sizes up five, uh, Valakos, uh, and it's uh, kind of a drunk human. Uh, he's kind of got a loot hanging off his back, and he's got an overabundance of chest hair hanging out of his tunic. And he's name at, Are you sure it's not an animal? <laughs> he, he looks at Valakos and goes, You, uh, egg layer or a man? I'm going to say, are you a beast man? And then point at his chest. Because, you know, Harry, I made a great joke. This is the mark of uh, uh, a true lover of people uh, from uh, my neck of the woods. <laughs> are you sure really hey, Felix? Hey, did, we, did, hey. we, did we just run into like a parody of Felix? Hey, Valakos, ask him if the carpet matches the drapes, man. <laughs> <laughs> Do the carpets match the drapes? He shows you. Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, they do. Ah, burn. Oh, you're fucking burn. Uh, oh. uh, Outside, Eddie and Cortran, uh, you just plunge yourself into the crowd. Uh, it is a very jovial yep. crowd, very light winded, uh, which uh, in the turtle world, you celebrate the death, you don't mourn the death. So, you can, you, you know, you, you've been to these before in your own hometown. You know how yeah. this goes. Everybody's yeah, cool. out there knocking shells. Yeah, they're, they're, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, Cortran and Odie, give me a perception check. Uh, 14. 15. Uh, Cortran, uh, not too far away, you recognize a turtle of some acquaintance. You realize that this is the right clawed man of uh i do no nope. i do oh. no nope. odie you see well across the way maybe a hundred feet or so uh a lot of turtles in between you're pretty sure that's garfield over there i'm gonna uh, uh, right. i see garfield i'm gonna say yeah and i see her her right hand right claw man whatever the hell her best bud over there. The lieutenant. Why don't we give him a little, lieutenant. you know, a little shake. Why don't little, we go see him first? Yeah, a little nipple twist. A little. Sure. Uh, I'm going to, are we next, are we very close to the dice place? Uh, it's kind of behind you. You guys have plunged yourself into the crowd. I'm going to tell Odie, keep an eye on them. Let me go back and, and tell the others. Okay, I'll um I'll make sure he doesn't leave this area. Okay. Now I'll go back Fine. to the 
And I'm going to get into like a, not like a group of turtles, but the sort of thing where like it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll find uh, me in the bathroom. Uh, but, like, I'm keeping... Oh, this, this place is like a mosh pit, man. Yep. Uh, and I think we all know what's going to happen to Odie here. Odie, uh, a female turtle with big eyelashes all made up, uh, saunters over to you and offers to share her tankard with you. I feel like I know where this is going. Yeah. I think she's lying. I, my charisma is not the best on this character. She's drunk. Um, oh, that makes me feel worse. Um, <laughs> remember that. Remember that. <laughs> so I'm just going to take it from her hands, keeping an eye on both those people, and then I'm going to uh, drink my drink. Uh, give me a and she says, hello, how are you doing? What, what do I roll? It's 12. And then she hands you the drink and says, hello, sir. Nine. A uh, twelve or a twenty? Twelve. Okay, a nine. nine. I got a nine on twelve. Uh, well, uh good news is uh, the drink is much to your liking. Uh cool. now her charisma is a fifteen, so she's much prettier than you are. Uh, Definitely. She engages in small talk with you because she recognizes that you are one of those adventurer types. Uh, and she would like to know how you've come to her little tiny burg. He likes Fortran, the bad turtles. <laughs> you walk in and you notice that Maud, Valkos, and Tanbar are currently trying to figure out what they're going to do in here. So uh, you are somewhat behind them. Tanbar, Maud, and Valkos, what are you going to do in the paradise? I'll we'll start scouting so, around looking for Garfield and her minions. I'm um, done looking at the paradise. I think I'm pretty much done looking at the paradise. I've seen all I've seen the paradise already. So I think I'm good to leave. You I've did the, see the bard's paradise. I see the I saw the bard's paradise. I saw more paradise than he ever wanted. I saw too much paradise. So are you gonna leave? Yes, immediately. You, you will run into Cortran. Maud, are you gonna stay or shall you go? <laughs> Damn, yeah, I'm gonna stay. Uh, okay. I gotta get out of here. He saw, he saw the bar see? too. I saw the bar too, so I'm gonna stay. He saw his carpet. And... The bartender uh, looks at odd even. Uh, six, even Maud. Hey, honey, can I get you something to drink? Oh, fresh. Yeah, that'd be Absolutely. Great. I am the proprietor here. My name is Dashboard Lights. Uh, get it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, you, uh, gotta be, you gotta be old to get that one, folks. <laughs> oh, wait, maybe I don't get it then. Uh, Paradise by the Dashboard, dashboard Lights. lights. No. Yeah. Speed Loaf? Come on! Uh, let's see here. Uh, do you guys have any uh, Vol Bitters Black Label? Oh, that stuff is crap. We would never serve something <laughs> like that again. Yeah. <laughs> Well said. Woo! Well said. <laughs> but you know, uh, okay, then I guess they, uh, they do have a the... really cool jingle. <laughs> oh. uh, I couldn't the, resist. The bard leans resist. in and goes, "Did I hear jingle?" Flips over his loot, and starts to play. Here comes the king. Here comes the big number one. Uh, the turtles then start to boo and throw a variety of things. Thank God. I like this place already. Yeah, this is not a bull bitters uh, establishment. Yeah. Good. Uh, but he does. Uh, they tried the pale ale. <laughs> he does slide over a pair of mugs uh, to you and Tanbar. Uh, if you go to pay, oh, Ancestors Day. All the drinks are on the house. Oh, what the oh, hell? Fuck. I didn't know about that. Didn't ask. No, that's true. Uh, now, Odie, outside, uh, she's really starting to put the moves on you. Uh, give me an insight check to see if you pick up on this or if you're just going to be an idiot. Well, I'm trying to focus on the mission. I have a mission for Cortran. You know yeah, what? You're right. Mission. Roll insight at disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's died yet. Somebody's got um, 11. 
Uh, this is like a Sadie Hawkins dance where uh, the females ask the males to dance and she's kind of pressuring you. She tells you, you look like you got the moves uh, and she wants you to prove it. I come like from Jagger. beyond the horizon. Okay. <laughs> you got moves like Jagger, boy. <laughs> like Jagger. Uh, do you want to dance Jager with her Feister. Or not? I do. Okay. Uh, you guys move out there and you guys are dancing to the tunes. Should uh, I use acrobatics? Now, uh, you want to do like a, a backflip? What do you yeah, do? <laughs> give me a straight up dex roll to see how good your moves are. Uh, you ain't got no like floor. acrobatics. Uh, Can I use acrobatics? No, I feel like he's trying to. Do <laughs> what, what about survival? Can I use that? <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, down. unless she's tossing you around. No, uh, okay. Here, let me build this fire uh, and make a dance. This uh, is a 14. Mine is also a 14. Uh, so you guys, you guys are well matched, like in sync. Uh, no more like men at work, okay, or boys to men. <laughs> uh, uh Cortran, uh, you see Valakos rubbing his eyes headed towards the exit. You don't know why. Uh, yeah. Do you want to stop him? And Yeah, I'm going to stop him. Um, Cortran, I found, <laughs> found Garfield. She's outside. Odie's keeping an eye on her. So yeah. head out, go. Yeah. <laughs> Keep, head out this way, and, and I'll get the other guys to meet you. Keeping an eye on her. Well, you're supposed to be. <laughs> and I'll head, I'll head over to whoever's closest next. Oh, uh, your, your dad is going to love watching this stream. Uh, yep. Valakos, you want to go out the door like you, you were told? Or just leave? Thank <laughs> uh, you! Cortran, uh, give me a perception check, perception check at advantage, please. Oh, his headset minus stop. Advantage. Mm-hmm. Yep. I stepped on That's the cord. A Twenty and popped out. Uh, you clearly see Maud and Tanbar talking to the proprietor of said institution, uh, who seems to be engaging them in small talk. I'll head straight for him. Sure. Uh, you move around, and as you get up close to them, this grotesque-looking human bard with a lot of chest hair kind of plays his lute and says. You a uh, eggler or a male? <laughs> and he's I'm still gonna playing. Push. Uh, here I'm not going to answer him. I'm going to gonna push past him that and was, ignore it. That yep. was rude. Yes, uh, it was. You feel a tapping on your shell. I'm going to continue up to them. I'm on a mission. You know what? I'm going to crack you upside the head with my loop. Uh, How dare you! That's a 10. You feel your shell absorb all of the shock of the loot uh, against you. Do you want to turn around and face off with them? Yeah, I'll spin around. Uh, I'm going to do a spinning claw kick. <laughs> nice. Okay, sure. Go ahead. I don't know how the hell to do that. See, how I've never been a turtle before, but. Make your you want to sweep track. the leg with the tail, and then as you turn around, when you get to oh, the die, 20, that's I had Acrobatics was a 19. Yeah, you can oh, do that. Oh, okay. Go ahead and hit him. You can use Dex as your modifier if you want. Well, I hit him. That's a natural 20. <laughs> yeah, you're going to knock him unconscious. One punch. Uh, die four plus two. Ooh. Well, it's religion. a die four plus two. Do I just. Yep, that's all you do. That's. Seven. Do I do uh, roll the damage twice on that? Uh, damage, damage, and then modifier. Okay, seven. Uh, yeah, you knock the individual backwards. Uh, a half elf, a half wing, and a half orc stand up from the table. Apparently, uh, see it. Give me an insight check. See if you notice what this problem is going to be. Um, uh, that's seventeen and nothing. Seventeen. Uh, you can kind of surmise that this motley crew <laughs> uh, probably belongs to this guy, and they stand up. The half orc points at you <coughs> and apologizes profusely 
at his friend's actions. And I, I accept the apology. Your friends probably had a little too much to drink. He's uh, he gets that way. Uh, yeah. Courtesy. Thank you for understanding. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Now I'm going to turn around and continue to the bar. Maud and Tan Bar, uh, what do you want to ask the bartender, if anything? Hey, we're looking for uh, someone. I'm Not someone. Uh, their name is uh, Garfield. <coughs> Never heard of him. Maybe this will jog your memory. No, it won't, but thank you. You're, You're not there. <laughs> uh, any of these guys here, they look like this and this and this, and you know, they're usually hanging out with that person we're talking about. You I like to imagine you're just saying this, this, and this. You're not actually describing them. <laughs> they uh, look like this, you see? You mean uh, the individuals over there staring at you? I'm going to turn around and look at who he's say, talking about. Oh, you recognize these three. <laughs> yeah, yeah Bart, that's them. Yeah, Bart, keep, that would be the ones. Uh, you see the three uh, amigos stand up, and they're kind of filtering their way through the crowd, one on Tan Bar, one headed to Maud, one headed to Cortran. Uh, these guys, uh, you recognize they are associates of Garfield, minor leaguers, but let's go ahead and roll initiative. Doing all of us to roll in. Yep, all three of you. 19. God, I wish I had a 18. Uh, 19, Cortran. Uh, you notice uh, a plethora of people inside this establishment. It's, it's pretty full, uh, but you notice one is beelining towards you, and they are armed with. Uh, a battle axe. Ooh. All three have battle axes. Holy shnikes. Great. Uh, but Cortran, you're up first. Uh, you can do whatever <laughs> you want. Well, I was looking. Frankie, aren't paladins supposed to have spells? Did it not give you any spells? Not a one. You'll have healing and bless and uh, I forget what else. You got uh, Bane and Hunter's Mark. God, my. Oh, boy. I'm yeah, going to look at the barkeep and say, you wouldn't happen to have a weapon I could borrow. Uh, he hands over a mace. How about it? Stretch. Sounds good. Well, you can do... Uh... And, and you know what? Actually, it's not the bartender because you aren't close enough. It's that okay. half-orc fella. And he gives me a mace? Sure. All right. Good. He can do thunderous strike. One second here. I'm going to get this bad boy on. Okay. Here. Sorry. Uh, any of them close now? One, yeah. one is one is on you. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit hitting my guess. Uh, all right. Let's say uh Real quick, boy. 21, 30. Yeah, well, of course it's dirty. That's a dumb hey, thing. To say. They have AC 19, but you hit them. All right. Come on, hobos. First time I've used you tonight. Do me good. Did you get the, the new stuff yet? Yes, we did. I've separated them into their own little personal swag bags. Very Eight good. points. Fair enough. Uh, 18, Tan Bar, you're up. All right, I am going to uh, attack. <clears throat> sure. Whichever one's closest to me. Yep. Number two. Number two. <clears throat> uh, how about a fumble? Uh, nice. You are not going to uh, hit them. You are going to hit... 
Great. Where is the die? Where is the die? Oh, there it is. Uh, you hit a dude that looks like he's a mage of some kind. And he oh, is a human mage type. How much damage did you do to him? Oh, is it half damage or full? Uh, it'll be half damage. Or no, it's not a friend, so you're hitting full. Seven. Ouch. Uh, you knock him right out of the chair. Uh, Shouldn't have been there. Maud, you had a one, so it's my turn. Uh, these guys advance Cortran. I don't get this. Uh, 12 plus 5, 17 hit you. Hit me? Yep. Uh, yep, just hit me. Uh, Maud, uh, 16 plus, so that'll get you. And yep. Tanbar, 13. Uh, plus 5, 18. Does that get you? Okay, everybody takes a hit as general melee breaks out. Uh, D8 plus 3. You guys suffer 10 whopping hit points of Ouch. damage. Uh, Maud, what do you want to do? Uh, I The guy is still charging me, right? So yep. I'm going to cast Create Bonfire right at his toes so that he's gonna so that he's in in the flames nice can't can't go wrong with that yep and this is how the town burns down oh yep. yeah so it requires a deck save of 10 from you Ooh, a four on the roll <laughs> oh then you are on fire with uh seven hit points of damage nice very nice uh, arcane words fill the tavern as people start to back up. The sorcerer that Tanbar hit moves their hands. <laughs> A fog cloud descends upon the entire tavern. Uh, Maud, uh, the flickering of your bonfire is just barely discernible in this. All hell breaks loose. There is screaming and yelling. Uh, outside, Odie, uh, another dance as she nuzzles your ear socket. <laughs> Is she kind of like, you know, drunk ish? You know, yeah, she's a little drunk. Well, I, I then I'm like, one more drink and then let's do another one of dance. Fair so enough. Uh, that's Valikos. smooth, right? Oh, yeah, you're, you're like silk. Cool. Uh, Valakos, <laughs> give me a perception check. Perception. That is a 17. Nice. Odd even. Odd. Uh, as you look down uh, the road towards the square, uh, you see Odie uh, just doing the the, the tortle two-step. Ah, tortle, writing that shit down. <laughs> tortle two-step. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, God. And, and uh, he just write down on his paper. I am so funny. Yeah, he has. He's just having a grand time, uh, and that place is crowded. Do you want to stand your ground or continue to head that way? Which way am I heading? You can head towards Odie, or you can stand your ground and wait for Cortran to come back out. A party. I'm gonna peek my head in to where they went. I'm just gonna peek my head in and just see what's going on. Back into the tavern? Yeah, back in the tavern. Just peek my head in. And if nothing... you, you open up the heavy door and all you hear is screaming and yelling. Uh, it's like a cloud it has descended inside the tavern. Several patrons are charging out, uh, including a group not made of turtles uh, dragging the hairy bard behind them. I, I think the bard's the name door is open for that. Harry Connick. <laughs> uh, you hold the door open and people are streaming out uh, inside Cortran, Maud, Tanbar. You can't see shit anymore. This cloud has uh, shrouded your vision, uh, but you notice uh, the wafting is headed towards uh, the rear of you, maybe the front door. You aren't real sure. 
So Cortran, 19. Uh, you cannot even see your opponent anymore. If you attack, it will be a disadvantage. What would you like to do? Um, Go to Myrtle Beach, I'm assuming. Uh, sounds like it. I can't seem to attack? Nope. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cast uh, Armor of Agates on myself. Sure. That'll work. And stand in a defensive posture. Tan bar, you're up. Hmm. I am just going to... Uh, Use echolocation. Swing where I thought I saw that guy last. Disadvantage. Yep. Hit the hit the sorcerer again, I dare you. <laughs> Fireball. Well, that's a 20. Nice. That's one roll. What's the other? 14. Uh the 14 is gonna miss. Uh you're gonna hear yourself connect with something. Uh didn't feel like a body though. Uh they are gonna but it, was it a hard or was it more of like a thud? Kind of like a wood, like your sword hit wood, maybe okay. a chair. Uh, so Cortrans, uh, natural one, uh, mod, an eight. Uh, they will take burn damage again. Uh, and a two on tan bars. Uh, so mod, go ahead and roll for the bonfire damage on yours, and then you may attack. Uh, one point of bonfire damage. Got it. Uh, so uh, you guys all notice the, the cloud is moving out and you feel a gust of wind uh, make it exit faster. <clears throat> As it starts to clear, there's still some tendrils of smoke or uh, obscuring. Uh, and you notice uh, the bonfire is now out. One of the sorcerer's friends is doing this, causing a gust of wind to move the cloud out. And you see the new bellhop, Valicos, holding open the door. Move along. Move along. Uh, the three associates have disappeared. I'm going to go to the door. To the door. To the, to door. the door. To the door. Everybody's at the door. Uh, out, look. Outside, Valicos has a stupid grin on his face. Hey, guys. Anything interesting? Hi. Do I see the? Uh, do I see him anywhere? Uh, no, the crowd dispersed rather quickly. Uh, you can hear uh, dashboard lights uh, yelling. He's not very happy at all. Uh, but you aren't sure what's going on there. So uh, let's go with this one. Uh, but no, everybody seems to be streaming uh, down to the festival indicating that Dashboard Lights is going to lose a lot of monetary business today. <clears throat> Contour, did you pick up on uh, what just happened? Cordran, you mean? No, I, I have no idea what was going on. Uh, <laughs> one of the wizards blew all the smog out, and when it happened, uh, the three guys we were attacking were gone. Yeah, figures. So we Damn were, it, I wanted a battle axe. We ran to the door looking for them. We don't see them. All right. Well, I'm going to tell you guys what the reason I came in the bar to begin with. Found Garfield. She's at the other end of the of the uh, plaza here. Let's Odie's, her. Odie's watching her. I'm going to say where? Over there? I don't know which way you're pointing. No, she's, no, she's over there. I'm going to look where he's pointing. Uh, uh, it's down in the, in the festival. Direction. Uh, yeah. uh, everybody except Odie, go ahead and roll perception. Uh, and Val, you don't have to either. 17. 19. Yay, 18. 16. Uh, you guys notice uh, the Texas or the portal two step. Uh, Odie is in full swing, getting ready to do, I don't know. Macarena or some other dipshit uh, dance. <laughs> he has attached himself to a clearly female with the faux eyelashes, uh, but a very pretty young I'm lady. I'm turn my head over at Cortran and say, Odie's doing what, you said? <laughs> what the hell? I'm can't still... trust. Just can't trust anybody. It's new generation. 
Okay, uh, I, I, I was still keeping an eye on the girl on, oh, on Garfield. Oh, where, yeah, where, 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 where is she? <laughs> where is she? You know what? Perception check. Like, Hold on. Perception Give me a check. perception check, and it's going to have to be really high. Um, 14. That's from Odie or all of us? Just him, because he yeah. was the one keeping an eye on her. No clue where she's gone. What about the other know? guy? I remember I was keeping track on two people. I'll give you another perception check for that guy. 16. Yeah, you see a guy that looks like him. Okay, I'm going to take he, that. He's got his back to you, so you aren't 100% positive, but you think it's him. Okay, so I, I have one of them still. You uh, think so, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Let's yeah. go with yes. Sure, we'll go with yes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm 100% confident that you, you are correct. <laughs> So, um, yeah, what's next? You want to go deal with this guy? Uh, we still, still see the way? so we're still seeing a lieutenant. Um, uh, yeah. he got his back to you, but you think it's the lieutenant. Okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna point him out. Yeah, uh, you guys gonna move through the crowd? Hell yeah, yep. Part in the crowd. Hey, ugh, ugh. okay, as you go pushing through, uh, Odie, uh, you got a Klingon with you. She she wants to keep dancing, so she's trying to pull you towards the dance floor. Okay, I tell her to come with me, and then <laughs> I'm going to go. <laughs> okay. We can dance over here next to that guy. That guy specifically. Let's I, dance I over there. I, I can't go to that guy. I can't go to that guy. Why, why not? Well, that's my dad. What? Oh. <laughs> that's my <Yeah>. dad. <laughs> But can can we hear this conversation? Perception check. Would you want to introduce me to your dad? That's a no. That was seven. Eighteen. Uh, Tan bar. You can kind of hear the uh, teenage musical back here going on. Uh, Odie, she's she has a look of uh, fear and concern. She points out to you that she's kind of grounded. Oh. Uh, why don't you come with me? She's grounded. You better watch out, boy. <laughs> you let's, could uh run. Uh, she she says, "Let's go to the far side. I know where we can get some drinks." Hmm. Anybody else seen Animal House? <laughs> so, uh, yep. yeah. throw her in a shopping cart. And let's go. <laughs> the guy I'm trying to look for or keep an eye on is sp so. Sp so, <laughs> the, the right hand guy? man that I think is the right hand man is her dad. Yeah. Well, that guy over there is her dad. Okay. That's, that's all you know. So that's all. Ask I know. her what her dad does for a living. What? It, that, that's a good smart, smart it idea. Good smart. Yeah, he's well, not that dad, dragonborn anymore. He's got some smarts. Yeah. My my dad's the mayor. Okay. <laughs> the mayor. Yeah. That means that the right hand guy isn't the mayor. So that means that guy is not uh, Garfield's. Well, somebody's been studying logic. <laughs> <laughs> That's <a> th <laughs> so. So you lost him too. <laughs> I, I guess so. But we can figure it out. The and mystery you're of that guy. The mayor's da underage daughter. Way yeah. to go. Yeah. I'm like level four. Is that the crime against itself for her? Remember, you, guys you know the being prisons. So hard. The prisons here are horrible. <laughs> exactly. Oh, great. Be, go easy on the kid. The boy's in love. <laughs> can't you see? <laughs> Everybody, perception check. Oh, That's mass depressed. genocide. It's for love. Oh, I forgot about that. Nineteen. About the Fifteen. Fourteen. <clears throat> oh, are uh, we adding court uh, perception? Cortran looks like you're the big winner here. Uh, you notice a rather sizable altercation over in that direction. And you notice that the guards are moving on it, leaving the uh, roped off area unsecured. Again, I don't know who's closest to me, whoever it is, and will tell them what's going on. Maud Somebody's and Tanbar. I'm going uh, Tanbar and Mott. Mm -hmm. 
it's got to be Garfield. They're cr- pulling the guards away from the roped off area. That's where we need to go. To know, the roped off good. area. All right. Ten, I, ten I'm going to holler for Odie. Ten bars Nobody just bars. grab him by the short hair and drag him over. Ten there. bars, oh, bars that year. Been done. <laughs> ten bars oh, that year. Him. <laughs> ten bar and mod re roll your perception. Fifteen. Ooh, it's going to be bad. Twelve. Uh, Maude, uh, your three assailants from the bar and the lieutenant are the ones currently embroiled in the fight over there where the guards are headed. Hmm. Do they see us? No, they're, they... uh, they're hooking on people. It's just a general brouhaha. Hmm. And, and, they're, we were... and they're winning because, of course, they're going up against standard citizens. Hmm. Uh, I'll point it out to Tanbar and then say, let's, let's get there. Let's go get in that jewelry store. Jewelry store? Just the roped Uh, off area. The roped off area, yeah. Where where the heist is going down. Where the heist is going down. I assume it's inside the jewelry store. Because we're looking for the eyes of law. Somebody grab Oda. OD. And and, 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 uh, Valahusa. Odie, his uh, underage paramour, and the Valakos. <laughs> this is great. Because this, this cannot possibly go wrong. No. <laughs> so what, uh, am I being for, am I strength? Should I defend or something? I do whatever you want, man. She she just wants you to go the other way. She doesn't want to get caught by dad. Okay, then I have an idea. If we go to the do not go section, he would never suspect <laughs> us to be there. You see? Oh. We aren't allowed to go to that section. That section's worked off. Exactly. Because they would never expect us to be there. Think about it for a second. She will lead you over to one after thinking about it, but she's not going to lead you to the jewelry store. Do you follow her or follow the rest of the crew going to the jewelry store? <laughs> Come on, man. Be cool. Uh, why don't you go get me a drink? I'm going to go to the bathroom, and I'm going to go to the jewelry store. Give me a drink, woman. Oof. Good thing you're underage. I got a great line for that one. Uh, <laughs> she goes ahead and leaves. <clears throat> you may rejoin your associates. Can't believe you just abandoned her like that. Yeah, no kidding. Daddy, that's the man who touched me. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> the, prison, the prison sentence is zero. Right. Another, another slash seven in the book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you guys head on over to the jewelry store while everybody is uh, busy. Yeah. Uh, who wants to check the door or look in the window? I'll check the door. I'll look, look in, the, in window. the window. Fair enough. Give me perception checks and uh, Fortran, give me an investigation check. Got an 18. Natural, natural 20. Nice. Uh, Maude. Ain't nobody inside. Uh, Cortran, this thing is locked solid. Is it just a door? I'm like looking at what other what other stores are here. Did anybody look to see what other buildings are here? But to the left, Odie can tell you quite explicitly uh, that it appears to be a uh, business uh, under renovation. To the right is a, a guard station. The guard station. Business on under re- re- oh, oh, so loud banging noises and other things are happening to the left side. I've seen the heist. This is no, we, no we, because we Odie like, did not go with her. Don't we have to like break in the door? And then we break open the door. Like when keep an eye. Keep, I'm gonna I'm gonna slip over to the guard station then. And take a look uh, inside quietly. I'm go the opposite way and take a look inside. So Tanbar's going to the renovation. Cortran's going to the guard station. Maud, yeah. which direction are you going? Renovation. Uh, Val? Uh, guard station with Grandpa or renovation? The guard station, I guess. Uh, Odie? I guess renovation. Fair enough. Uh, Cortran, uh, Val, uh, you look inside and you see a turtle leaning back on a really cool bench uh, reading a paper. Uh, he's got some decorations up on his shelf. 
looks to be a boss of some kind. He's got a steaming cup of mead right next to him. Not a care in the world. Uh, beyond him is a very sturdy metal door with three locks uh, on it. Uh, maybe a holding cell. Maybe the jail. Not quite sure. Do you want to go inside and talk to him? Yeah. I'm going to take a tell Valakos, just follow my lead. I'm going to go running in, stumbling, and say, they need you. They're being overrun. They're robbers, villains at the other end of the square. Your guards need you. you want me to persuade? Let me persuade you there, baby. Come on, bring that shit on. I got to go ahead and persuade him. Have I got any? Oh, yeah, plus four with this dude. I'm going to stand around the corner. and this my That's an 18. 18 don't do it. Let me guess. Natural 20 only. Fine. Let's go. I'm going to lead him out. I'm going to say, first I'm going to tell him, I said, look, I, I could help, but I, I don't have a weapon. Do you have a weapon I could use? Yeah, he'll give you a weapon. He'll give you a battle axe. Oh, I'll take that. Instantly. Just. Like you can't get it out of his hand. You have a friendly face. Hey, everybody right. gets battle axes in this town. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, you get a, you so get a complimentary one. Well, this guy, uh, just from the looks of him, he doesn't give two shits about you two. So yeah, he's probably pretty tough. So he leads you out the door, uh, secures it with a heavy set key behind him, and he goes, where's the... And he sees it. He sees it and he heads off. Okay. Inside uh, Tanbar, Maud, and Odie, uh, this place is under construction. Looks like maybe the top floor of the Nakatomi building. Not quite sure. Uh, and there is a figure uh, digging underneath some of the floorboards. Oh, give, me a, give me a perception check, Maud, Odie, and Tanbar. Nice. 20, 15. 30. Yeah, is it a big orange cat? 23. Uh, it is Garfield Gruber. <laughs> she, is trying, she is trying to get in. She sees you and says, They called me Johnny Georgia. Well, well, well. I see the bully wolves didn't violate you. That looks to be my job. Reaches back and pulls out a glowing longsword. You three initiative. Oh, boom. 22. 14. Boom. Oh, boom. Uh, 22, Maude, you may react first. Oh, man, kick cast, his ass. Kick his ass. Kick his ass, sea bass. I will cast Acid Splash right at her face. Nice. Let's see that what I got to do save. here. Yep, next save of 10. Uh, 18 on the roll. Plus one, 19. Yeah, I, I don't know what happens then. Half. I think it's half. All right, then you get uh, <laughs> two points of damage. Uh, two points of damage works. But did uh, it blind her? That's what I want to know. Did it blind yeah, her? Yeah, that's the good question. Did it blind her, distract her, or anything? My God, I'm starting to sound like a DM. Yeah, you are. Nat 20. <laughs> it did. See, it blinded her. Uh-huh. Nat 20. That, that's a negative. <laughs> Uh, she is going to swing like on six. So not Tan Tanbar, not Maud, Odie. Uh, um, dodge that shit, Odie. She gets two attacks. You're screwed. <laughs> uh, she swings her blade. Uh, with Uncanny a, with dodge. A three and a one. <laughs> For arm right. 31 for arm. No, arm? she missed she, you. She missed oh, okay. Horribly. You, you have advantage to hit her. Should I sneak attack her? No, because she was she was going after you. But okay. you have advantage to hit her. So I'm gonna take the advantage to hit her. That'd be a good idea. Um 15. No. Okay. <laughs> well, you had advantage. Well, advantage, you gotta roll that twice, right? Yes. Yeah, roll it again. 
17. Any pluses? Um, no. You, sure? you uh, ring your oh, dagger that? off her shell. Uh, Tanbar with the one, or I'm sorry, with the five, you're up. I'm going to attack. Should have begged for mercy. I hit 19. 19 is what you need. For eight points of damage. Nicely done. New round, Cortran, a vowel. Uh, you watch as the gruff lieutenant uh, uses the haft of his weapon to knock people out of the way. Uh, and he is making a beeline for the fight. What do you want to do? I want to go back over toward the uh, jewelry store and in the direction that the other guys went. Sure. Hero. Odd even. Uh, Valicos, do you have a weapon? You got a short sword? I got a dagger. No, you dagger? have a short sword, you numbskull. Oh, well, it does one die six. That's yeah, that's okay. a short sword. Okay, that's short sword. Okay. Um, short sword. That, you guys head that way, but Valicos gets stopped by Odie's uh, Torto lover, uh, who has two mugs in her hands. Where did your friend go? Ah, drink one, Odie, or er, Val. I'll oh, thank you. And say, what do you mean I'm right here? <laughs> I'm gonna try uh, and steal your girl. Ah. Is this Valakos or Jody? What the hell is his name? Uh, Cor Jody. Cor Cor Cortran, are you gonna continue forward? Yeah, I am. You will be there next round. Uh, okay. Starting it off again. Uh, who had the twenty-two? Mod. Uh, come on, Mod. Kick, ahead, kick Mod. her butt, Mod. Yeah. Uh, Mod is going to turtle soup time. I think it is. Let's create bonfire again. Boiler Roast turtle. Pieces. Come on, baby. Oh, nat 20. Nice. Uh, she only got a 14 on her dex roll if she needs it. Uh, she makes it the dex save. Get Do that. I get damaged twice on this since it was a critical hit? Uh, it is damage, damage modifier but halved since she made her save. Six plus three, so nine. Do we round up or down for the half? Always round down. All right, four damage. Got it. Uh, she's pissed. Uh, she's going to split her attacks. First one goes to a two, tan bar. Five, uh, Odie. No, yeah, Odie. So... Tan bar, 17 plus... Oh, you hit. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, plus eight. <laughs> Jesus. Odie, four plus eight is 12. Uh, tan bar, you take nine hit points of damage as she slashes through you while she is partially on fire. I do what tan bar does. Tan bar, you are okay. uninjured. Uh, you are now up, Odie. Okay. I'm about dead. She is focusing on Tanbar, so I'm going to take this time to sneak attack her. She was focused on Tanbar and you. She just missed you. Okay, so normal attack. Yep. Um. Why is vehicles under tools? Uh, you'd have to ask Frank. He was Frank. Hold it up. What? Underneath tools, there's something that says vehicles, and it says land. I think I have no efficient idea. in driving <laughs> land vehicles. Do I get like a car? Yeah, you could summon a, a wind up car. Yeah. Okay. You could um, summon a car. I'm gonna use my dagger and attacker. Okay. I guess not. Uh, five. Tanbar, you're up. Okay. As a bonus action, so let's go ahead and do my attack. Eighteen. Nope. Nineteen's are AC. And then I'm going to do a bonus action. Let you. So I get advantage on my weapon attacks. Okay. So then the. So, and then five temporary hit points. Because you hurt me. You hurt me bad. 
So I'll I get hold, to roll again. I'll hold my breath for an hour. There we go. 22. That hits. For a hit point again. Nicely done. Chopping away at her. Uh, Coltran, you enter the building and roll initiative. <coughs> 15. Oh. Okay. Oh, Fair enough. Outside, uh, Valakos, uh, since Odie is not currently present, she goes ahead and gives you one of the mugs, asks you if you'd like to dance. Me? All right. Oh, y'all. Oh. You lit this fire, okay. boy. I know. I'm trying to think of what I can do. You just add into the flame right now. Prison. Prison is what I'm thinking. Prison. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Be a shame if someone tipped off the mayor of the town. <laughs> 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 oh, they won't be tipped oh, off because you'll, you'll. Oh, you'll God. Be yeah, devious little bastards is what they are. <laughs> oh, no. I think I should take the drink and said, Give me a second. I have to go to the bathroom and then run to the jewelry section and then run back to where. Cortron is and say, give you. Well, you run to the jewelry uh, and again find it locked. So inside 22, Maud, you're up. All right, let's acid splash this Garfield bitch again towards the eyes. Something, damn it. 18. Oh. <laughs> what? 18 on the damn it. <laughs> uh, fine, three damage is what you received. That was a good one, too. You're still chopping away. Fifteens, uh, Cortran and myself. Uh, Cortran, uh, you hear her go, ooh, more sauce for my goose. Uh, I'll let you go first. For me? Yep. And she's okay. going to go after four, uh, Odie, and four. Odie. I got two, two attacks. Sure. Go ahead. That's a 22 with the battle axe. And that is a 23 with the mace. There you go. Isn't a battle axe a two-handed weapon, though? Is it? No, battle axe is one-handed. Great axe. Am I wrong? Oh, Great okay. axe is two. Great axe is two. Yeah, because my cleric uses two battle axes in the other game. All right. You're good. That's some cheating in that one, too. What the hell, you know? <laughs> cheating for two <laughs> years? <laughs> If you're having fun, you ain't cheating. That's five and two, seven with the axe. Wait a minute, wrong dice. Come on, hobo. Let me down. Five and two on that one, seven. Seven and seven, 14 points. Got it. Uh, I am going after Odie twice because he's going to lose his woman and his life. Oh, yeah. We're taking everything from you. Don't teams. worry, Odie. I can bring you back as a zombie. 15, that sounds pretty cool. 15 and 17, Nine. Odie. Um, 17, my armor class is 17. That hits. Okay. That hits. Uh, take six hit points of damage. Okay. Uh, next up is the 14. That's you, Odie. <laughs> Attacking. Oh. 19. 19 hits. Okay. Yeah, get some. Dagger, which is... Hey, hey, mute that <clears throat> stuff. What'd you do, Valakos? Five. Roll. Eight. Nine, ten. Eleven. So that's eleven damage. Uh, last but not least, five. Ten bar. You know what I think about it. All right. I am going to I'm gonna do my special action surge, which allows me to use an extra additional action this turn. First, I'm gonna attack with my short sword, and that is a 23, so we know that hits. Yep. Four I, I believe that's pronounced sword. Nine points of damage. Got it. 
And then I'm going to hit for a natural 20. <laughs> yeah, but it's not a lot of damage. So it's damage, damage, half. Damage, damage, modifier. Modifier, gotcha. So damage four, so... And seven, two, nine more points of damage. Okay. With a backhand saying, bitch, where's my money? Uh, where's my out, stuff? Outside of Alicos, uh, you go to the jewelry uh, store, there's can nobody I, there. Can I see them fighting from where I am or not? Nope. And I you can. have to bypass the girl again. So as you... Move towards the uh, Renault. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Can I hear them? The commotion of them. Oh yeah, clearly. Okay, then you I'm can hear the commotion say, of them and the commotion of the fight. Uh, I can I hear the commotion of them, my team. Yes, fighting. Okay, I'm going to say to her, "Let's go check that out." I'm. It, it sounds dangerous, that. and she holds herself close to you. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and you guys head in there. Uh, Maud, uh, your turn, but you see uh, Honey, uh, you're, Garfield you're, you're put her hand up That's and drop it. her blade. I surrender. I surrender. I was wrong. Spare That's me. right, you were, you bitch. Acid splash. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Nine. Oh, baby, she's getting blinded on this one. Eight. Points of damage. Uh, she grasps at her eyes with her claws, and you can hear the sizzle, and you can see the chest upheavals. Uh, clearly, she is in uh, great distress. Uh, Cortran, uh, you and I are up. I am starting to do my death rattle. Well, I'm going to help you along. Okay. No, pee on the acid so it, it neutralizes it. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's good. That's fish. <laughs> it's uh, 21 with the battle axe. Oh, yeah, you're going to lop her head and off. And seven with the other one. So. Oh, oh, yeah. She's dead as Lincoln or Valakos when the mayor finds him. Okay. Uh, yeah. She's just a friend. We're not like that. Uh, Valakos, you enter, you see your associates surrounding the dead body. Uh, Cortran holds up the blade, the magical blade. Uh, Odie, you see Valakos is getting kind of chummy with your chick. <laughs> he's, been paying any, he's not been is paying it, any attention at all. Wait, is, this a long, wait, is this a long sword? Nicholas? Frank? Long sword? Okay. Nick, they're talking to you. Uh, you don't having no reaction whatsoever. Yeah, Val, Valakos has got your chick on his arm. Oh, yeah. In your time, big time, man. I'm just She's thinking of all up. the things I, I can do. Mm -hmm. well, you can confront him or you can, you know, take All I know is I go. see you for You know, Bobby. what else you could do? You could count your blessings. That's what you can what, do. My, my ten toes? <laughs> uh, oh, you, uh -uh. You, can, you can say, you can take credit for the kill. Uh, you're clearly injured, so you can, you know, play the injured card, you know, maybe get some sympathy, or you can confront uh, Valakos directly. That's exactly what Frank's wanting you to do. Is Valakos close to the girl? Just close. Uh, she She's is around on me. him, yeah. Perfect. My arm is Perfect. around her. We're getting real And chummy. if I can if I can just remember I where the mayor of the city was, can I, can I right remember just you. a little bit where he was standing? I got a general idea. Okay, okay, I look for a mayoral sort of person. Someone very go, elite. You go outside and get, get big about, bear. Walk yeah. across uh, uh, the death stair as you walk by. Mm, I just wave, just kiss of death. Just fair enough. And you and go wonder outside. wonder where he got an arm long enough to go around her shell. Give me a well, it's tucked in. Oh, and is that what it is? Oh, yeah, yeah. A turtle type of thing. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the important role was this. Go ahead and roll for investigation, Odie. Let's see if you can catch Mayor uh, Mac and Cheese. Yeah, 20, 20, 30, 20. You find Mayor Mac and Cheese. Uh, I'm just he, he must, he must be Scottish. 
Mac and keep, cheese. Mac and cheese. I'm just going to keep this simple. I, I tap him on the soldier. I'm sorry to disturb you. I'm Hello, a- citizen. Welcome to the celebration. I know what it like. I know, like, you know, we're all turtles, but looking at his face and remembering hers, is there like a little bit of. Yeah, there's family resemblance there. <laughs> I just I just go, hey, um, I'm sorry to bother you, but is that your daughter over there with that young turtle? My daughter's grounded. She's not here, young man. Oh, oh, my, my apologies, but I, it must be my imagination. Did, do you want to look at her real quick? Lead me to her. Okay. <laughs> oh, you perverts looking at the young girls. <laughs> uh, Lead me to her. Pervert. Mac and cheese. Cartridge. Hey. Hey. Well, mustache. He's <laughs> and, her. And tan bar. I assume you're looting uh, Garfield's body. Hell yes. Okay. Uh, Take that sword if you can. Uh, you're going to find one of those giant gems. <laughs> Her lieutenant must have the other one. Uh, okay, let's do this the simple way. Uh, Valakos and Odie, roll a d20 and add your persuasion. Sixteen. <laughs> 14! You suck! Valakos is going to jail because his girlfriend is underage. He calls for that. She's not my girlfriend. I was just helping her. Wrapped around it, and she's going to get grounded for two weeks now. Uh, Maybe you guys can break her out. Uh, The mayor wants to know what, what you three are doing in here and who's the dead body. I won't tell her. We stopped a and crime. We caught we we caught the uh, one that started the battle <laughs> at the other end of the thing, trying to dig her way into the jewelry store. When we confronted her, she, she attacked. We're us. heroes. We're heroes. We also caught a pervert. We Look caught at a us. pervert. <laughs> oh, that's I'm the going to punch you in the face. And that's what this Look is at all us. About, Look at right? all of us. We caught. We, we, caught, caught, we, caught, man one of her, we caught one of her one of her cohorts. Trying to molest your daughter and our, <laughs> one of our younger, one of our younger, one of our younger companions protected her and was comforting her. Have yeah. you seen him? Goes uh, by the name Valakos. Uh, yeah, Valakos is in jail because Val- yeah. why? <laughs> Valakos, he Lute- saved your daughter. He Lute- saved your daughter. Lieutenant McClain has taken. <laughs> In the custody. Authoritarian. Yeah. Below uh, you need to straighten that out. Stuff. That's wrong. You know oh, what? Uh, uh, AJ, AJ, you roll uh, 20 for persuasion. You are uh, Mayor Mac and Cheese. Uh, Cortran, you roll persuasion. You are yourself trying to get Valkos out of uh, 20. All right. Before Bad he gets news. prison tattooed. That's a 19 and 4, 23. Natural 20. Hi, you butt. <laughs> Valakos. Right, Valakos. He's going to jail. Valakos is going to jail, boys and girls. Well, uh, that's a good place to end it. Oh, you know what they do to people like you in the big house? <laughs> oh, They're going to clean out your prison wall. <laughs> Not my prison wall. No! <laughs> Thank you. The key is, is you, you, you take that shiv out of your prison wallet and you attack the biggest, meanest guy there the first day. Gotcha. If you I'm haven't seen Kevin around. Hart in Get Hard, that's what you need to no. do. No, 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 no. Rob Schneider in Big Stan. Nice. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, I was folks, Deadpool, too. <laughs> folks, <laughs> this has been Murder Hobo Inc., uh, the Marvel <laughs> campaign-ish. Uh, oh, thanks God. for joining us. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archives. If you shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, the link is down there. Uh, if you want to be on the show, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. We'll get you on. Uh, don't forget about Pirate Dog Dice uh, on Twitter for all your custom dice. Don't forget about oddfishgames.com for A, their adventure sense. B, uh, their shine system, how to make you right gooder. And C, of course, uh, the Kickstarter for how to RPG with your cat goes live this week. 
Folks, for all of us here at Murder Elbow Inc., thanks for joining us. Uh, we will see you on Tuesday. Kiss and wave, boys. Mwah. Oh, I'm in jail. Mwah. <laughs>